All right, let's do this. I just signed up for over $1,000 a month worth of AI content tools and SEO stuff to get more traffic to my websites. Ah, and not only that, but I'm actually putting my money where my mouth is and I bought a domain name for over 700 bucks that we're gonna use for this AI test. We got Jasper AI, Copy AI, AI Writer, Phrasey, Shorty AI, ContentBot.ai, Content at Scale, and Surfer SEO. So sit back, relax, and get ready because in this four hour live stream, we're gonna walk through all the tools. We're gonna use this brand new domain to show you exactly how to create content that gets ranked in Google. And not only that, but we're gonna tear apart each and every one of these programs to show you exactly what you need to make money in the world of AI. I'm also gonna show you where to get notes of the best tools, how we use them, and how you can put money in your pocket. So if you're ready to to learn exactly how AI is gonna put money in your pocket, let's head on over to the studio and fire this thing up. As you can see, we've been testing these things out like crazy. We got them here on the computer. We got them over there in the studio. We're gonna show you exactly what you need to know about AI tools and how to make money. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. If you guys are excited about this, make sure you smash that like button. We got a lot of effort going into this to show you exactly what you need to know about all this AI stuff, how it works, and how you're going to be able to use this stuff to make money. Now, you guys are gonna see here that I actually went through and I spent over, I think it's like close to $15,000 a year worth of subscriptions to various different AI programs. You can see here, some of them cost me $500, one of them cost me $1, $100, and on and on we go. So what we're gonna be doing here live today is putting these to the test, running them through the ringer, taking your questions live on the call and showing you exactly how this works. So if you're excited about this, if you're like, Marcus, hey, thanks for spending a bunch of money so that I could find out what's the best, just by simply smashing the like button, then, you know, yeah, smash that button. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through these and we're gonna go one by one and show you exactly how they work. We're gonna show you inside the world of AI, show you inside prompt engineering, chat GPT, BARD, and other programs like this so that you know where you can go to put a prompt in, engineer it correctly, and get an output that's actually going to work for you. Now. I've been doing this business for a long time, I think over 23 years now, and what you're gonna see is that the stuff that I'm showing you right here, right now, is actually real world stuff that actually makes money. This is stuff I've been doing for a long time. As you can see, there's my Lamborghini right there, right? And this is stuff that we're gonna walk through and show you the real world stuff, things that are happening right now. We're gonna walk through, you're gonna see, we're gonna go through these programs one by one, Right here is the dashboard for content at scale. We have um, contentbot.ai, shortly.ai, and on and on we go. So we got a lot of stuff here, and not only that, but I'm actually gonna show you a domain name that I purchased to show you that this stuff works. So you're gonna be able to go after this call and, and check it out and be like, oh, hey, Marcus's site is up. Here's how it's working. Now, I did just purchase it, I believe it was Saturday, so it is gonna take a little bit of time to resolve, but you could look at it. I'm gonna keep this thing for the next year, two years, until someone makes me a really good offer on it, um, or it makes me a bunch of money, which I think that one's gonna happen first. And we're gonna show you exactly how. Now, on this call, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through that, and we're gonna write AI content live with all of these tools, right? So you're gonna go out there and be like, well, hey, I don't need to buy all the tools. I'm just gonna watch this training and figure out what I need. Because as you can see here, this one, Audi, Audi Q8, Q, I mean, this doesn't even make sense, right? So some of these might not give you what you're looking for. Now, to give you a rundown of what we got going on here, these are the uh, things we're gonna look at, okay? So over here, we have a list of all the programs that I bought. Yes, I personally bought all these. We are personally going to be testing these today. Now, this live stream is gonna be like four hours, which is why if you can see my desk in the out shot, 
we have like five different cups of coffee and a bunch of water, and I even have a little commercial in case I need to take a break, which is pretty cool. But this is gonna be all about you. So if you're out there and you're like, Marcus, you know, 2023 has bombarded me with all this stuff about AI. All this stuff that just, I, I, I can't get my head around it. Everyone wants me to buy this program. Everyone needs this new software. It seems like a new tool and a new software is coming out every hour. And frankly, I myself am completely exhausted by this because there's so much going on. So today, what I wanna do is I wanna do something for you as my subscribers, as the people watching, to say thank you. And you know what, it doesn't have to be that difficult. We're gonna go through this together. We're in this together. We're gonna look at these and figure out what you need to make this stuff work. This is super important. So if you're excited about that, if you're ready to go through these, which totaled over $1,024 um, each and every month that I'm gonna be paying for these tools and using them, then, you know, let's dive in. Make sure you watch this whole stream. We're gonna have notes, we're gonna have everything for you. Let's dive in and get started. All right, so. When we're looking at this here, I want you guys to get an idea of who I am and what I've been doing. I've been doing online marketing since 1998 when I set up my first website. And in that time, I've had hundreds of millions of search engine rankings, billions of people visit my sites. I've been doing this a long time. I kind of know what's going on. I know when changes are about to happen and I know what the value of a search engine ranking is. A lot of people don't understand this. They don't understand the value of traffic. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to look at this and understand this in a different level. Because let's say that you were to go to Google and rank for the word web hosting. All right, that's like a $20,000, $30,000 a day keyword ranking. Yes, I did say day. It might even be more than that. It prob probably is. I'm being generous here just to be on the safe side. In that time of my doing online business, I have purchased over $100,000 worth of content, right? So this is coming from a place of experience. We're going to look at this content from me having spent over $100,000 on content for niches all over the place and understanding what gets ranked, why, and what actually is going to convert. All right, so we're gonna look at this, we're gonna, we're gonna dive in, and, and you guys have seen, I mean, I don't need to go over it again, but I've made over $12 million online. I've made this stuff work in a real world way. So we need to understand this, we need to see exactly what's going on so that we can actually turn a profit. And that's what we're gonna do today. All right, here are the receipts from the things that I signed up for. Um, some of them I had to get with like PayPal, so I didn't have time to get the receipt. Others, like the one that was $1 is a trial, but then it's gonna convert, I think, into uh, $80 a month subscription. And we're gonna go through these and look at why they're good, why they're bad, and, and, and what to do. Okay, very important. If you guys are in this to win it, and you're like, I need to make money with AI, I understand the basics, but I need to know what to do. This is the training for you. Smash the like button, stay for the entire thing. Now, try to stay as long as you can. I'm gonna be here, I think about four hours, depending on how this is gonna work. Uh, we're gonna take questions from you guys live. We're gonna go through these tools and understand exactly uh, what's going on so that you can get the real world info that you need. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in. Um, I have people standing by making notes over at helpfulaicontent.com. We'll have notes of this training, but I highly recommend you watch this because there's gonna be little nuances that the note people don't know to pick up on that I don't even know that I'm gonna pick up on because you know sometimes when you do these live, there's things that you see and, and, and you can fix, right? Or you can understand a different way. All right, so now what we're gonna do today is we're gonna look at the website that I actually purchased, okay? So what I do on a daily basis is I'm always looking at uh, GoDaddy auctions and other domain sites to figure out what domains I can get that have traffic. So what I do is I use a little tool that I created here um, and I extract all the domains, which you can get this over uh, at one of my sites. I think that's at theprofitscoop.com. And what'll happen here is it'll take all the domains and then I can put those domains into, there it is, my uh, keyword tool and it'll show me which ones have lots of keyword rankings. Now today, I noticed something kind of interesting. If you've been following my content, you'll probably notice it. If you haven't been following my content, 
you know, what are you doing? You got to be following this stuff. If you want to make a living, this is where the real deal stuff is, right? This is stuff that we do on a daily basis. You can't dispute it. It's right there. You can see how it works. But if you've been following me for any time, you will have seen my video a couple of weeks ago about this site, everythingpantry.com. Now, this is not one of my websites. This is actually an AI generated website. Now, in my opinion, this is borderline spam, right? What you're going to see is that sites like this are going out there and they're literally ranking for everything, hence the name Everything Pantry, uh, I think, right? So they, they do live up to their name, so we'll give them that one. Um, but you're going to see here that they have 337,000 keyword rankings in Google. Now, what they are doing is the idea of let's throw a bunch of spaghetti at the wall and see what sticks. And it's like, OK, yeah, that might work, but I don't think anything stuck, right? And, and they're kind of going for everything. Now, some of these they will get some rankings for and will do good on, like this one, something about red yeast brands to avoid, which is interesting because this seems to be a hot keyword for people that are doing this, right? There's other people like this state one uh, was also one. Now, what you'll notice is that these websites, uh, a lot of times the domains will be available at auction. What they're doing is they're buying them at auction, throwing junk on the site, and then you know they hope it works. And usually it phases out. We're going to talk about that because you know the content checkers and Google and everything they are hip to what AI is and they're going to penalize AI that's not used correctly. They've come out, they've said this statement. If you're using AI just to buck the system and get rankings and not providing value, then that is where you are going to run into trouble. And that's why this training is so important, because we're going to go through, we're going to look at the tools. And as a byproduct, you're going to learn how I do this to get the right output from these AI tools. What are the right prompts to put in? What are the right tools to use? And how does it work? Now, when we look at this, we see that Everything Pantry um, has over 164,000 rankings in Google. It's getting a lot of traffic. It's pretty good. Although, one thing I noticed today is that it's actually for sale, right? And it looks like they keep changing the price, which means, okay, you have no bids, but you're changing the price. So you probably know that your site is eventually going to be a dud. Right, they did the same exact thing. Um, this same company owned pdhre.org, and what they did is they bought this site as a um, what do you call it? As a it was a, a foundation site, and because it was a foundation site, it had a lot of backlinks. It had a lot of power. Now, what they did is they ranked it up, and then eventually the thing got hammered in the search engines because there was no value, and it just started tanking and tanking and tanking. Now, here we see Ahrefs, which is my favorite keyword tool. Um, is not It's a little behind the game. like It's not showing, oh, hey, it's actually tanked, because this site actually did, in fact, completely tank because it was AI written stuff. Now, if you want to learn more about that, check out the other videos. Uh, this one is going to be about the content writers and how to make it helpful. Now, I think that we need to learn both things. I think that we need to understand both of these options because of the fact that, hey, we need to know what's going on, the shady stuff, the good stuff, and everything in between so that we can focus on what's actually working. Very important, all right? Now, with all that said, what we're going to do is we're going to dive in here, and we're going to take a look at the site that I purchased at auction. All right, the site I purchased at auction, and I'll tell you the reason why and what's going on here. Now, this is the site that I purchased at auction. It has some domain rating. It has a UR rating. It's got some backlinks, and the rankings were on point. What I'm looking for is something that is on point, all right? So when we go through here, and we look at what we want, OK? What we're going to do is hopefully be a little taller so we could turn the page, right? What we're going to do is we're going to look for something like newsuv.org, OK, or whatever it is. Or was it .com? I think it was .org. Uh, yeah, .org. OK, so newsuv.org. Um, I'm looking at this because the domain was actually pretty good, like it's sellable, it's a good domain. But in addition, like all the backlinks and all the rankings 
had to do with SUV stuff. OK, so what we want is we want a website that's all in one category. All right, like everything pantry, he's got everything from rice yeast to uh, you know, uh, foot cream. It's like, what, what are you doing? You got everything here. And that's eventually why it's going to get banned, because there's no real value on anything. So what we want is we want something tight knit. OK, and then we're going to use our AI tools. We're going to use prompt engineering to actually create helpful content, which is what this training is all about. So when we go through here, we're going to look at this. And we are going to say, what, what are we going to do with this site? OK, very important. So when we go through, we look at what it ranked for. Again, this is all tight knit, fast SUVs under 40K, SUV for women, SUV with best visibility. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a perfect site for AI stuff. And I don't know if I have the receipt around here. I thought I did. Um, but this site cost me, the domain alone cost me about 800 bucks. It's a little higher than usual for people. I mean, you, you could get these for $10, $40. I liked this one. I probably wouldn't have gone as high if it wasn't newsuv.org, because that's a small, uh, easy to sell one. But it is a good one for this kind of stuff. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to go through and I want to look at what it ranked for. Then I'm going to go to my AI tools like uh, Surfer and everything like that, and we're going to get some content. Okay, You guys ready? Smash the like button if you're ready. We're going to dive in. We're going to go through everything here. Now, when we look at this, what we want to do is we want to take a look at the keywords it ranks for. I'm first going to say, well, let's go to the ones that have the most traffic. So best small luxury SUV, I ranked number 79 for that, 86, 81. Let's get one, hopefully, with a better ranking. Because if I could get one that ranked better, my chances of ranking higher is going to go through the roof. right? It's going to be super easy. And I think there was one that I found about interior. I believe it was like SUV interior or something like that, luxury uh, interior. right? And we can actually, what we're going to do is we're going to use this side by side. And we'll do something like SUV interior. Is that how you spell it? I hope so. OK. And we can see all this stuff about SUV interior, which is cool, right? This is like 10,000 or 9,000 uh, people a month looking up all this SUV interior. So if I have different uh, reviews on interior of these SUVs, then I'll start to get picked up for a lot of this traffic. Very important. Everyone following along? Excellent. So what we need to do is we need to see, say, what can we do? So what SUVs have the best interiors? That's what we're going to do here. That was the test. That was the idea where we are going to take the list of the AI tools, and we're going to run it through and see which one gives us the best content. Now, if you guys like the stuff that I teach here, make sure you subscribe, smash the like button, because you are going to watch as I do this live. We are going to set up, I think, 10 or 12 different websites. And then I'm going to have students set up hundreds of them. And we're going to test, hey, here's one that we use Jasper. Hey, here's one that we use Copy AI. Here's one we used um, Content at Scale. And we're going to test them all. And we're going to show you which ones make the most money, which is pretty cool, right? I thought that was pretty cool. It's going to cost me a small fortune, but hey. I make good money, so it'll be all right. All right, so we're going to go through. We're going to take a look at this and say, what are we going to do? Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is go over to Content at Scale. Now, at Content at Scale, I was playing around with this last night. It's a little bit wonky of a interface. It's it's one of the most expensive plans out there. I think I'm paying 500 bucks, and there's like a $1,500 plan, which I'll be upgrading to that one. Uh, shortly, because I do like the content. Like when you look at the output, it's pretty crazy. Okay, now stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to use this. Um, I think, like I said, it's a little wonky. Like we got to figure out where our content is. There, I think it's here. And what happened was I prompted it and I said, which 2023 SUVs have the best interiors, top luxury choices? Okay, so I gave it this here. Okay? Then I gave it a description that said something about, you know, give me the best SUVs or whatever. Okay, I think would that be in the brief? Yeah, this one here. This was my brief. 
please research the top SUV. Now, this would be considered your uh, AI prompt. I am prompting the AI engine to give me the info. Please research the top SUV vehicles that have the best interiors with base prices, features, and how many seats. It was important that it had seats because I'm like, okay, you know, people want to know that. Like, if you have a family of five, you're not going to buy an SUV with one seat, right? If that even exists. But at any rate, what happened? It took about, I'm going to say, 12 minutes. This one, like the AI, does take time here on this one. But the output was pretty phenomenal. Like, I was like, holy cow, I, I pay for content. Like, I, I have paid thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars for content over the years. And this, this output is actually better, right? This output actually gave me something where I was like, wait, yeah, I'd be happy just slapping this up on my blog without it, much editing at all. Because look at this. We went through, it is a 3,100 Word article. Now, with this plan, we're going to make some notes here so that my note taker can get this to you. But we have here with this plan, there's my pen. Oh, well, I got a pen here too. So, all right. So, um, with this one, the uh, content at scale, okay, this one is a $500 plan. It was their cheapest plan, I believe. With that plan, it looks like I'm getting 20 articles. So if we do 20, I think that's 25, am I correct? 25 articles for $500 or approximately, or $25 per article, sorry. So $25 per article, um, which I don't know, uh, Lauren, are you, are you on the live chat? Can you check with Jesse and see what we're currently paying for a 1,500 word or 1,000 word article, please? And we'll get that. That way you can see, hey, I'm paying actual live people and I, I think it's in the ballpark of 25, so this one's not, I mean, it will save money because I'm getting a bigger article, but I don't know if they have an option yet to get like 1,000 word articles. However, when we look at this, this is a pretty darn good article. They have all the breakdowns. It did exactly what I said with the prices. It gave little takeaways of like, hey, here's what this has. Um, and then we're looking at everything else. Now, let's do a little testing because when I look at content that was created by AI, I want to see if it was plagiarized. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I am going to search for this in quotes and see what's going on. So Volvo Luxurious Cabin Facelift. Okay, I'm not seeing anything with that. Okay, here's one here, but nothing direct. Like if I saw a bunch of titles that was like CNN News, Luxurious Cabin Facelift on the Volvo. OK, then I'd be a little worried. Let's do this like this. OK, so this, again, is like cabins. If I saw Volvos here, I'd be a little worried. OK, but I'm not. So this is actually, hey, so far this AI is, is absolutely passing the test. Everything looks good. Now, we can take this, and we could put this into a program like Grammarly, OK, right, like this. And we can check it for plagiarism. Now, Grammarly is a program. I think it's like, I think there's a free version. And then I think it's like, I don't know, $30 a month or something. Nothing too bad. Now, in some of these tools, and we will talk to you in just a minute about our AI content checkers. We have a big list here. We'll show you where to get those. Again, a lot to go through. If you guys are digging it, smash the like button. I got my coffee. We're going to be here four hours. We're going to answer your questions. At the end, you'll be like, dude, yeah, I could use AI. I know what to do. I know what to spend money on. I know where it's going to go. I realize that not everyone is going to have 500 bucks a month to spend on something like this, which is fine. We're going to test this with the other ones as well. So with Grammarly, we're going to click the little plagiarism button down here, and we're going to see if it, if it pings any plagiarism stuff. Grammarly is usually pretty good at this. And then we can also look at, let me find an AI content checker, AI content checker. Um, and we are going to test that also. I want a different content checker because AI content checker, like content at scale, does have one, but that's what we're using. So, like, obviously, it's probably not going to detect its own. So again, these are little nuances where you're like, OK, I need to understand what's going on here. Uh, we're going to use iWriter here, or writer.com, writer I think it is. 
Okay, and we're going to check. It only allows you to do a small snippet. So I think getting a snippet like this should do the trick. And this will tell us if it's written by AI. Now, this surprisingly is saying it's 100% human generated content. So the AI checker is like, yeah, uh, a human wrote this. Okay, that's probably why you pay a lot. So now let's go and let's take a look at some others like this one here. Uh, let's see. So this is content bot AI. Ask the AI to create any type of content. All right, cool. So let's go here and let's say uh, the same exact phrase. So we'll go here. Where did we go? We had content something or other. Bear with me. These, these are difficult trainings to do because we got so much going on. We'll do this here. Okay, so here's our prompt. And we're going to give it this prompt, which 2003s has the best uh, with prices. The more you give it, the more you give the AI with the prompt, the better output you're going to get. Uh, CJ says, is this all going to be using SEO? This training today, yes, this is about SEO. Are we going to use AI for other stuff? Totally. And it works really good too. But this one is about SEO. OK, so we're going to go through, and we're going to say with prices and specs. That way it's like, oh, this one has an eight cylinder, and it takes 90 million gallons of gas or whatever. OK, so we got length, OK, quite a bit. All right, I don't know what quite a bit is, but apparently it's going to give us quite a bit. So let's see here. We'll say instruct, right, like this. And some dots appear. So it might take a little bit of time, and we can kind of put this in all of them. So here's one, and I believe this one, contentbot.ai, was $59 a month for the small plan. OK, so now we got it's small. All right, so the small amount of words. Let's open another Grammarly here. OK, so this gave us 3% plagiarism. That's not bad. That's normal, especially when you're talking about stuff like this. Like, it's saying the plagiarism is uh, this, this comprehensive guide will delve deep into. Yeah. I mean, that's not really a plagiarized thing. That's just how people talk. Or apparently, how robots talk, since this is AI. But you can see it's pretty good. Now, on this one, we're at 3,200 words. Let's go ahead and put this next one in. This one comes in at 225 words. So way, way, way smaller. Actually, I think that's more than 225. God, is that, is that all that is? We're going to have to use like Microsoft Word. or Let's do word counter. Word counter. OK, we'll go to a word counter. Boom. Yeah, I guess it is. Wow, that, that looks like more than 220. But at any rate, we're looking at this. And it's like, OK, for my 50 bucks, the quite a bit of context only gave me 200 words. That's pretty low. Is it doable? Is it usable? Yes. Now, let me show you a little trick. If you're like, Marcus, I, I don't got no billions of dollars to spend on all this stuff. I just need something that's going to work. Now, you can get the same kind of output with ChatGPT and other programs like that that are super cheap or sometimes even free. Uh, Google Bard actually is very good at this. But a lot of times, they're going to need some tweaking. Like, if I get 225 words, I could go through and say, now find me five budget options with the same kind of detailed info. So this, this would now be like, OK, now I got five SUVs that cost a fortune, that have good interior, and here's some budget options that have good interior as well. So we could see here, there we go. Right, so super simple. We got the Kia, we got this. Now we're getting somewhere, right? Now I can be like, okay, so let's put these together, put a little headline on them. So here's the, the expensive ones, okay? And here's the less expensive ones. So now we're going up to 375 words. Looks like it's 100% original. Let's put it in an AI checker and smaller because it only takes so many characters. There we go. Analyze and see what comes up. So now this one is saying it's 3% human generated content, which is interesting. Now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready 
for a hack. It's a pretty cool hack, all right? Usually what happens is when you have 3% uh, human or 3% human generated, what's going to happen is there's little nuances that you'll see. Is known for is a luxurious SUV. So what's going to happen is sometimes you'll go through and be like, oh, let's do it has. Okay, it has. Maybe that's going to knock that down a bit. And I was playing around with this last night, and we were able to find this is right and i was able to get it to 100 percent just changing a little bit of stuff right so if i do here is a compact suv right these little things are going to start to build it up now usually what will happen is you're going to start to see patterns and the patterns will go through and you'll be like oh i just take the pattern out and i'm good to go okay very simple very easy um and and that's kind of what we're looking at is AI is going to duplicate patterns often, right? Because it has this language model that's like, oh, hey, what about this? What about that? What about this? And it's not going to be as humanish. It's going to be almost too perfect, right? Like, humans make mistakes. AI makes mistakes on the important stuff, but on the grammar, you know, not so much. So it has perfect grammar, but sometimes it talks out of places that. AI ought not to be talking out of. All right, so now we see we have contentbot.ai. It's looking OK. Now, contentbot.ai, if this was me and I was going to use this for $59, I would say, OK, it's giving me some decent output. Let's, let's fire up ChatGPT and show you guys what that looks like and give it the same prompt. All right, you guys want to see that? We'll go through and kind of fix it. Now, CJ says, can you use Grammarly to fix it? You can. Yes, what you're going to do is you're going to look for uh, specific patterns. And, and I'll show you in just a minute. Again, we're going to be hanging out for the next three and a half hours. So you're going to learn a lot about this old stuff here. All right, so if we go here and we give it the same prompt. So let's say we're going to do, uh, which one? This is contentbot.ai. And we said SUVs with prices and specs. OK, so let's give this to ChatGPT and see if we could start to notice different prompts and things like that. OK, now it's going to say, hey, I, I only have stuff from 2021. Fine, whatever, good. Bard will give you 2023 stuff. So and Bard is also, as of filming this, it is a free tool. So when we go through here and we're like, OK, this has all this, it's going to tell you all the, the luxury stuff. OK, now one of the things this isn't doing is it's not telling me why. It's not telling me why this interior is good. Okay, so we could go prompt and say, well, why is the interior good? Now, what we are seeing here is we're seeing some duplicates, or duplicates, rather. So luxurious cabin, uh, ride quality, right? This isn't really how people talk. This is showing us, hey, this is, yeah, this is probably not going to pass the, the test. OK, now I will tell you, sometimes human written content will not pass the test either. So it's kind of a toss up. Like a lot of people who are talking, oh, well, you know, it didn't pass this tool. All right, well, that's not exactly what they're looking for. Like this here says it's 100% original. OK, let's put it in the AI content checker. OK, got to cut off about 400 words there. Uh, we can add a little bit more. There we go, cool. So we'll analyze this, and it is saying 11% human generated. Now, what's going to happen is see how many of you guys, let, let's see if you can, you can test it, OK? Um, what is the pattern here? Do you guys see the pattern? It's, it's super blazingly obvious on this one. OK, let me know when you see it. Type it in the comments. Let me know, OK? Super important. Uh, Crystal says, I read that repeated words are a trigger for AI gen. It is, and you're going to see that right here. Um, and, and what we're seeing is starting around, right? What if I do this one is only pretty cheap at just 60K, surprising, surprisingly inexpensive for a Benz, OK? Um, Audi, just for the base model, 
Okay, so see, this is literally taking me like five seconds here. Actually, like, I don't know, a minute. Okay, and that's what AI is about, guys. It's about getting this. Now, with the expensive programs, yeah, that thing is hammering home some good stuff. And if you said seeding up to pricing, stuff like that, or starting around, you you got it. That, that's how it works, right? So let's do price um, only 68,000. And we could do this one, um, 2023 model for just. Okay, so now that just little tweaks, analyze, and now we're at the 54%. Okay, do you guys see how it's like, oh, I get it. Just a little bit of tweaking. Okay, and you can even run these through a rewriter or something like that. But it'll go through and it'll change it. So seating for up to, you could do this one has five seats or fit the whole family, right? So like great, great for small families of five, okay? And that will start to just boom, like we're at 70 already. So this is, are you guys getting it? Smash the like button if you're like, dude, so you just took ChatGPT, tweaked it a tad bit, now it's working. So ladies and gentlemen, yes, we spent all this money on all this stuff. ChatGPT is only 20 bucks a month or sometimes even free. You can tweak it and make it work. And this detector is actually free as well. Now, what I would say do, and I, I think this is super, super important, right? What I would say do is if you're trying to get by on a budget and your money sign doesn't flash, let's fix that there. Um, if you're trying to get by on a budget, okay, we're going to go through and what we're going to do is we're going to start to chunk these down. We're going to chunk them into different segments. Notice how with ChatGPT and, and this other one that only gave us 300 words or whatever, we're adding to it. Okay, now give me some cheap options. Now, tell me some seven-seater options. Okay, and it's gonna go through and do this. So now where I would have to pay someone to write or whatever, now I can do this in minutes. Add a little bit of the human element because ladies and gentlemen, what I want you to realize here is that this is all about intent. What is the intent behind these people searching best luxury SUV interior, large SUV models, right? When we look at this, and I think I had one interior, I think I had one here that went for, yeah, here we go. So interior, there's a lot of keywords about the best interior and we were ranking okay. Now what I'm looking for here is very, very, very important. Okay, so when we look at this, oh, wait, there we go. There you go, there's the interior one. Um, but what I'm looking at here is the idea of the plan. Okay, so when I bought this domain, which was um, new SUV, okay, what I'm doing is I'm looking at, okay, it's got traffic. This is pretty easy to use. I can use this with AI. It's not gonna be difficult. Now, what I want to look at is what is the intent of the people searching? All right, how many of you guys have been out there and you're like looking for a new car and you're like, what do I want? Like just a couple years ago, I was looking for a van, but I didn't want like the old soccer mom van. I wanted a good van that I could use for my business, something comfortable, uh, something good that has storage. And we got the Pacifica one, which is actually pretty cool. It's a pinnacle and uh, it's really nice inside. I bought it based on the interior. Um, and, and it was a good buy. It was either that or like a gargantuan uh, giant van, which I didn't really want to drive the city bus around town. So I got this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at intent and we're going to look at um, how much we can monetize. Okay, so what I did is I thought to myself, all right, new SUV, I see websites all the time and I see ads all the time that are doing clickbait and arbitrage. And they're, they're linking to this because these SUV companies, car loan companies, and car dealers pay a ton of money. All right, so I already know there's a ton of money. And I know that, that the AI can do a lot of the research for me. And let's say, I mean, if I wanted to do this for a living, I go to AI, I get the top luxury ones, then I spend a Saturday and a Sunday and I go test drive them all. I'm like, hey, I test drive all these cars. There's a guy who's got a YouTube channel where he test drives cars 
and the dude makes millions. Now, are you going to make millions? Obviously, you know, the results are not typical implied or guarantee. That guy works his tail off. But can I take a site like this, go above and beyond a little bit, and make this thing work in a real world way? Yeah, I can. Could I turn this into a $10,000 a month site? I believe I can. And you're going to watch along as we do this with AI and we show you how this works. And you know, I think you guys are really going to dig this. So when we get back to this, it's going to be like, OK, now we have all of these keywords that I can rank for. And what we're going to do is we're going to let, uh, we're going to let AI kind of do the work for us. Now, again, with this test here, I mean, this thing kind of knocked it out of the park. I ain't going to lie. Um, I'm probably going to upgrade and keep my subscription. Now, we're going to show you other stuff uh, as well. So check out uh, helpfulaicontent.com. I'm going to have links to all these with reviews and notes and everything there. Okay, So we're going to look at this. And we're like, that knocked it out of the park. Let's try Surfer SEO, which is supposed to be like some fancy SEO thing, like for the ranking people. Okay, So we could go through. Now, this one has a um, keyword research plan. So we could go here. We could say um, SUV. SUV. Drink some coffee. So we'll go like this. It's going to do some research. Now, I'm going to put this side by side with our Ahrefs tool, because I know that Ahrefs and SEMrush and the Google AdWords Planner have up-to-date stuff. Now, again, if you're on a budget, use these tools with the Google AdWords Planner. Because the number one thing that I want is I want to know that it actually gets traffic. That's what I'm most important with. Because if it fails on that metric, then I'm going to do all this work and I'm not going to get traffic because it doesn't have any, which is not going to be fun. So we're looking at this here. And it looks like it's just kind of taken forever. OK, so we'll wait for that. And I think there's a content editor. So while we're waiting on that, let's see. OK, create content editor. OK, so I need to upgrade there, which I did upgrade. So apparently, it's just not telling me. Uh, but let's see if it did a good job on this, this TikTok affiliate article. Apparently, I did this one here. So editing this document. Well, maybe, maybe I could go through and be like, OK, let's change this one. Maybe I can delete it or something. I don't know if I'll be able to upgrade it on here. Let's see. So delete. OK. Maybe we could do it like that. OK. Create content editor. All right, so this one's kind of being a pain. Maybe we can have someone go through and upgrade for us on this call. Maybe I'll do that in, in one of our commercial breaks. All right, so now we have uh, InstructBot, which is contentbot.ai. Let's also try shortly.ai. So we're going to give it the same prompt. We're going to see what comes up. OK? Are you guys digging this? Um, by the way, these kinds of trainings are extremely difficult to do. So if you appreciate it, I would appreciate it if you, you hit that Like button so other people can enjoy the content too. OK, so we're going to go through. Um, no code, yes, we're going to Jasper is one of the ones on the list over here. So, so we'll get that. So let's go here. I'm writing an article blog. A lot right for me. OK, so my title. OK, uh, so we have to prompt it. All right, so let's get into some prompting here. Um, let's just type the same thing there, right for me. All right, this will take a few seconds. This is the latest and most comprehensive list of SUVs with the best interiors. OK. That's it? That's, that's all you're going to give me? Anybody home? <laughs> Let's say it right for me. It was click right for me again. All right. Uh, yes, Jasper is a, I like it. There are some hiccups, as with anything. Um, OK, so it's just talking about, it doesn't look like this is actually giving me on the web data. Like this is, this is the, OK, so <laughs> let me let you in on a pet peeve I have. A pet peeve that I have when it comes to hiring content writers and stuff like that is when I give them an article, they write about what the about is. Right, so if I say to them, write me an article about left-handed baseball bats or whatever. Is left-handed baseball bats a thing? 
I don't know. If they were a thing, well, ask Brandon. He played bas uh, baseball. Um, I don't think there's a difference. But at any rate, let's say that's what we're writing about. If I was to go to a content guy and say, write me an article about this, and I don't give them clear instructions, which, in my opinion, this is clear instructions. Right? That's, that's pretty darn clear. If I put this into iWriter, iWriter, and I pay a writer to do it, I'm going to get some good stuff. But my pet peeve here, like this here, that, that is good instructions. My pet peeve is if I say, write me an article on left-handed baseball bats, they're going to go through and say, left-handed baseball bats are very interesting, and they're for left-handed batters. Now, a batter that's left-handed is not right-handed, so they're going to need a left-handed baseball bat. Now, right-handed baseball bats are usually for people that are right-handed. And what it's going to do is it's going to describe my instructions without giving data. OK, does that make sense? Let me know if that makes sense. OK, when we look at this, this is what this is doing. Which 2023 SUVs have the best interiors, top luxury choices with prices? Which have the best, the latest? And it doesn't even tell me any of them. It's just keeping and going and you know, going and going. Now, in all fairness, OK, now it's doing it. Ashton Martin Bulldog, Corvette. OK, so now, does anyone see the big problem? Right, there's a glaring problem right here. If you know anything about cars, which uh, our buddy over there, the monster, who needs a name. Someone needs to name our monster. He's our new uh, mascot. But he's out there. And he knows about cars, and he knows that none of these are SUVs. None of these are SUVs, nothing. Like, so I'm going to go, and I'm going to you know, get a, a Corvette. That, that's not an SUV. So in all fairness, I haven't really tested this program. Maybe I'm using it wrong, but I'm not sure. OK, I'm not sure. And what are we writing about? Oh, please list the best expensive SUVs with prices and specs. OK, so let's see. Now, this one here, shortly AI was, so this one's coming in at $80 a month. OK, Fiat, GMC, Ridgeline. I don't know where it's getting this data. So I don't know. On, on front analysis, I'm like, OK, is it, is it the greatest? I don't know. Let's, let's try Grammarly. OK, again, I don't think any of these are um, SUVs. There's a Range Rover in there, OK. Um, there's a couple others, like the GMC Denali is, is a SUV. OK, now this here, see how that plagiarize is showing a car site? That's worrisome to me. OK, now again, these tools are in new state. We want to give it a fair shake. Not saying they're bad or good. We're just testing them out and showing you what's going on. OK, so we're going to look at that and be like, OK, I don't know if I can use that. Again, maybe I'm not using it right. Maybe I need to learn prompting. But we have to look at that. And uh, uh, Andy says, Ridgeline is a wannabe truck. All right, there you go. Well, you've seen me. I drive the minivan, so I don't know. All right, someone said, call the monster fluff or Bobo. OK, cool. So we're going to go through and take a look at some other ones. So let's do the same prompt, and let's go over to Copy.ai. Now, copy.ai is supposed to be like a pretty darn good zinger. I've been reading reviews about this. I've been checking this out. I, I think this is supposed to be pretty solid. So let's go in and see what we got with copy.ai. So we'll create a new jump into a whole first draft in five minutes. All you need is a title and topic. All right, there we go. Well, let's do this here. All right, let's choose our tone. Luxury. There we go. We're going to have. We're going to have old Robin Leach on here. Uh, SUVs of the rich and famous. There we go. Maybe, maybe we should call the monster Robin Leach, right? So we have luxury um, blog title. These, let's call it, these 2023s have the best interiors. Good. Write some keywords. Uh, SUV, luxury SUV. Luxury, how do you spell luxury? Luxury, like that? Oh, it's right there. Look at that, I can't even see straight. All right, there we go. SUV. 
All right, you got to laugh at yourself once in a while, which I probably spend way too much time laughing at myself. All right, so he's going to generate our outline. Good. So now that I'm impressed with. So copy AI, good job there. I'm digging that. It gave me like a nice little outline. There we go. So now this is cool because this could give me um, content for like a video. Right? OK, here they are. OK, now let's do a blog conclusion will be added here. OK, generate talking points. OK, let's see. Let's get some talking points here. Have some coffee. Got to love the old unicorn cup. There you go. Got to have a unicorn cup. All right, now we got luxury seven seater. OK, so this looks like now if I was doing video content, this would be a jackpot. This would be great. It's like boom, 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 boom. Also, I can go to a different AI writer and I can give it more. Now this, I'm actually very, very impressed with copy.ai. This is looking pretty solid, right? I'm like, okay, this is looking good. We're ready to rock, okay? Now, let's generate content. Let's see what happens. Now, a little tip, all right? A little tip here, come on in. Listen to your old buddy Marcus. Copy this stuff before you go to the next step. Why? Because these are stages. You could use them for videos. You want the content. So copy this down, put it in a notepad or a whatever it is you, you fancy before you go in. Now let's do generate content. Okay. So now it's going to generate our content, right? Like this. You guys digging this? Let me know if you guys like this. Uh, have I ever used Zimwriter? Not yet. Uh, right, Sonic? I don't think that's on our list. Maybe if you guys are, are, are smashing the like button, Annette, maybe we'll have another call next week and go over some more. I don't know. Maybe. It does cost a lot to test all these tools. But hey, you know what? You guys are, are, are doing good today. I think you deserve it. So uh, BMW, we got this. So this is looking pretty good. And create blog post. OK. There we go. So now we're coming in at 967 words. Not too shabby. I'll take it. This is something I believe, um, Lauren, did we get feedback from Jesse yet on what we pay? You could Skype it to me. I got Skype open too. Um, Koala chat, that's one we're going to have as well. So if you guys want to give me a list, watch this video again, put them as comments. We'll use it in the next one. Koala chat was one that I did not add on the list, but I wanted to. I just I got a lot going on. I forgot about it. Um, there, and there's a lot of tools. That's why we're doing this, right? Because there's so many tools out there. Like, I spend $10,000 a month on different tools for my business. And I realize that not everyone can do that. I realize that, hey, you know, some people got to be frugal. You can't just be like the old monster in the Lambo over there and, and just spend money like it's going out of style. You got to understand what's going on. You got to look at these in a real world way and, and budget accordingly. Right now, can most people afford $59 or $80 a month? I think they probably can. Um, some people might be able to spend more, but yeah. OK, so a 1,500-word article is going to be about $30. And it looks like the ones that we order are usually about $20 for 1,000 words. So this here, uh, right here, is a $20 article. So theoretically, if this passed the test of the AI thingamajigger. So let's put this in Grammarly, check for plage or ism. All right, can't have the uh, shortened version there because, you know, everyone needs to know what I'm talking about. 5% in this article we'll take a look at. Automatic transmission, so not too much. OK, we could tweak this. Bada bing, bada boom, it'll pass the test. Now let's put it in an AI tester. OK, let's see. This should give us a good snapshot. OK, 1,900 words, 16. There we go. OK, analyze. All right, so now we're getting somewhere. Right now we're like, OK, which one was this? This was copy.ai. So copy.ai, looking pretty good. Again, we are going to do a deep dive on these. I'm going to have a list of the ones that I like to use. We're going to do even more. We got another three hours on this webinar. Good thing I had something to eat. We're going to take your questions and we're going to dive in. Um, again, for the list of these, we're going to have the notes at helpfulaicontent.com. I also have 
links to these uh, that are affiliate links. So, you know, I'll probably get like four bucks if you sign up for one, which is pretty cool. I like four bucks. It'll get me, you know, a coffee for my uh, unicorn cup there. But at any rate, we go through and we look at it. And I do get more than four bucks, but you get the idea. So what we're going to do is be like, yeah, this is actually looking pretty good. Again, I can probably... I could probably go through and say, okay, good. Now I got this. Okay, it saves it. I like that it saves it. Thank you, Farmer. If anyone knows what that's from, thank you, Farmer. It's a good movie. It's a cartoon movie, which shows that I watched a lot of movies with my kids. But um, you can see here what we can do in addition to it saving it is we could do copy.ai and let's open a new one, copy.ai. And what we'll do is we'll start to expand. So we'll do blog post wizard. Let's now do budget SUVs with nice interior. Or there we go. Um, then we could say budget SUV with prices and specs. Okay. Again, the keyword stuff like. <laughs> If you have the right title and the right article based on the right keyword, you're not going to need a lot of keyword density and all this other stuff. Okay, You don't need it. You just need the right keyword. Um, that's the key. That's what we talk about. Also, if you're using the blog uh, domain buying method, uh, in addition to this, I, I think you're going to look pretty good too. Uh, let's see here. Where did my chat go? There we go. All right. Okay. Let's see. It's always fun to try to get all these things synced up. OK, um, so we're going to go through. We got the different brands. Good. Generate talking points. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to be um, closer to 2,300 words. Now notice how this is not giving us 2023. I think this one, this one did. Or no, it didn't. OK, so it's just, it's just basic. So we can go through and look at these in a different way. But let's go ahead and generate this. Generate content. So copy.ai, so far I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm going to do some more testing. So don't go buy anything yet. Go to helpfulaicontent.com. We'll give you the, the full test before you go buy anything. Um, but we're looking at this Jeep Cherokee. Those aren't cheap, though. I got one, and it was not cheap. Uh, maybe it was a fancy one. I don't know. Um, but we got a lot of stuff here. So 633 words, good. And, and you can have it write more about each one if you want to like boost this up a little. Right like that. And now we're at 784 words. It's, it's OK. Right? And then we could tweak and stuff. And, and again, let's do, um, let's take a snippet and see if it's flagging this as AI content. And again, this is not the be-all, end-all AI content generator checker. Um, I have seen multiple content generator checkers, which if you didn't see my video on that, um, it was this one here. And you know, a lot of them gave me different, um, different results. So let's see if this one does. Let me just pull it up off screen real quick. Uh, AI content detector. Let's see. So let's put that same amount in there. I think this one will give us a little bit more. Where did it go? I just had it open. There it is. OK, so let's see here. Uh, this will detect. So on, this is saying AI content detected lots of it. Let's try ChatGPT4. Yeah, so this is saying that it is. Let's, let's try the one that did pass. This passed, and what you're going to see is a lot of these are different. And again, what this is going to come down to, there you go. So that says human text. Interesting. So again, like these tools are going to make a difference. Here's this one, AI detector, and this is from Content at Scale. All right, we'll wait and wait. Uh, 222 words. OK, so now this, which is a free tool, content at scale.com, AI content detector. Again, we'll have the link um, on that uh, helpful AI content site. And we can see it actually flags why 
it says it's like that. So that's kind of cool, right? That's good. And it'll give you examples, fully human example, content at scale, human and AI, um, and on and on we go. So again, we want to do this, and I can't stress it enough, we need to focus on the intent. If your article was written by AI and it doesn't do the job of helping the person searching, then it ain't going to matter if it's AI or whatever. It's going to matter that it, it, it does the good job. Right, that's what's going to be important because at the end of the day, people are looking this up. There we go, uh, Cowan Barnyard. That was the movie. So there you go, pretty cool. All right, guys, um, this is this is good. We got a lot more to go through. We got a lot of other tools. We are going to put these through the ringer. Uh, get your questions ready. I will be back in approximately two minutes. Oh, hi there. Don't worry, Marcus will be right back in just a few minutes. If you want to get a Lamborghini full of cash like me, make sure you pay attention to this important announcement. <laughs> All right, guys, a couple of cool things that you're going to want to pay attention to. Number one, over at HelpfulAIContent.com, I have some really cool stuff that you're going to want to check out. Number one, we have notes from the video webinar you're watching right now. So, once you go to HelpfulAIContent.com, you can click here to download the notes. All you got to do is put your name and email in, and we will send those notes to you right away once they are completed. I actually have a full team standing by making notes of this live stream right now as you're watching it. Number two, and probably the most important part, on Saturday, April 8th, I am going to be having a special webinar about how I use AI tools to make helpful content that actually ranks in the search engines, helps people out, and provides a good user experience so that you can make money. If you're interested in joining that full out training, check out the link right here on HelpfulAIContent.com. You can go right here and sign up for that webinar. Full training, you'll get the recordings, the notes, and everything for just a one-time deal of $27. Yep, that's right. We're going to show you everything about AI content, including how to use it for SEO, how to create product, creating AI lead magnets, getting traffic, creating content, and more. So if you want to see me take a deep dive into the SUV site we talked about, you're definitely going to want to be on Saturday's webinar. And last but not least, I have compiled a list of all the links and all the tools that I've been testing in this live stream so that you can check them out. Yes, they are affiliate links, so I'll get paid a little bit if you sign up. So if you appreciate the time and effort we put into these live streams, go on over to HelpfulAIContent.com and check out the cool stuff we have waiting for you. Whoa. That's some cool stuff you got there over at HelpfulAIContent.com. But, Marcus, hey. Marcus, where are you? Come on, hurry up. These people are waiting. Marcus, come on. All right, now back to our show. <laughs> All right, so back with you here. We're going to take a look at some other stuff, and hopefully you liked our little commercial there. I worked very hard on that this morning. It's very, very difficult to make, you know, the old puppets and everything. So let's go ahead and dive into some others um, as we go through as well. Now, one of the things I want you to pay close attention to is the reason this strategy is going to work so well when using AI is the fact that we are going off of something that we know works, right? I am going through and I'm like, okay, I know for a fact that this stuff works. I know for a fact that if I go out there and I focus, right? Let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger here. I know for a fact that if I go out there and I focus and I say, okay, I know that these keywords already ranked, right? You guys saw me do this on the Nerd Getting Fit site where we went through and we took the keywords it already ranked for. It had the backlinks. It was good to go. Um, and within three days, this thing started ranking at the top of Google for some pretty decent keywords that I normally wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Um, and you're going to see how this works. You're going to start to understand, okay, going off of these keywords and creating good content. Now, another method that's going to be big later this year um, and, and with the growth of AI is going to be using like the old structure and revamping content, right? There's a controversial method, which some people say is good. Some people say, don't do it. 
I'm usually on the side of not doing it, but with AI, it does make it different. When you were to buy a site like newsuv.org or whatever, um, we can actually go to the Wayback Machine. And let's see, Wayback Machine, there we go. Uh, the Wayback Machine will actually take us back in time, right, like uh, old Doc, right? It'll take us back in time and it'll show us what a website looked like back in the day. And what this will do is it'll give us um, different archives of what that site looked like. And we could go through and say, oh, hey, you know, this is what it looked like in 2017. And I'll make sure that it's actually clean because, you know, live streams got to make sure we keep everything good on the up and up here. Um, all right. So we could see in 2017, it had uh, the worst SUVs, the best SUVs. So like this article here, we could see is the one that ranked for one of the uh, higher trafficked keywords, right? So we went through and let's see, I think it was for traffic. I like this. Okay, uh, which one? Website not working? It should be there. I think, uh, Lauren, can you find the exact link and Skype it to me, please? That uh, long one, but helpfulaicontent.com should work if you're spelling it right. So like this one here, SUVs under uh, 40K, all right, we could see with our Wayback Machine, where did it go? I got way too many tabs open. And this is like, usually I have way more than this, but you know, when I have to go, there we are. Um, we can see here, the best SUVs under 40,000. See, uh, down on the very bottom, see this URL down there, very bottom of the screen. See, watch, it'll go away, then it pops up. That URL, the dash best dash SUVs under 40,000, um, that is this one, okay? So we're looking at these and this. So what you could theoretically do is go here to your Wayback Machine, get the old content, have AI revamp it or make it new or use that on the base and then go from there, right? So that's something you could do again, you know, when you buy these domains, like I bought the domain newsuv.org. I did not buy the content. Now the site's gone. Does that mean the content's mine? I, I don't know. That is a gray area. For me, I'm going to say, no, I'm not going to use it. But you can revamp it, and you can utilize that to build your prompts off of like we're doing here. right? We found the interior ones, and I'm like, OK, this will work. Um, or best visibility, or whatever it is. And I can use these to go down the list. Now, theoretically, if I had AI and I say, well, let's go through, and let's, let's put this to the test and say, well, I want Please tell us what you want the AI to do. Uh, I want 15 SUVs with best visibility. Instruct. This will go through and it'll find them. Um, and I can even say, and why? Right? That would work really good too. So if I go here and I say SUVs with best visibility and why with prices. OK? Let's see how this one does. So commands can only be used within a single paragraph. OK, so let's try this again. Save for later. There we go. Writing stats. So I do like that this allows you to save it. Um, let's see. Article brief. Let's go back to this. SUV with the best visibility and why with prices and specs. OK, so let's use shortly AI, writing an article in a blog. OK, apparently it just prompts you twice, which is kind of weird. So 25 SUVs with the best prices and why. So we'll do a lot of content. Well, there we go. Maybe we need to do, OK. I was thinking maybe that one slides over, but I guess not. So we'll do right for me. Let's see how it does. All right. I think we're almost time for coffee number two. There we go. We're, we're going for this. We are diving in. We're going to get to the bottom of these. 25 SUVs with the best visibility and why they cost what they do. OK, well, AI did not do what I told it to do. And you guys all know about me. I'm a stickler for people doing things the exact way I want them. I do not skimp when it comes to the article to be the way it is. Like this one here is talking to me about the Ford Explorer, cheapest option under 50. It's not doing what I told it to do. So let's see if other AI will pick up on what I wanted to do. Best visibility. OK, so let's do this, 
15 SUVs with best visibility and why with prices. Let's see if this catches on to what I want. And again, this is going to be something very big is being able to engineer prompts so that this works. The length of the chat history is, okay, let's try again. Instruct, boom, with price, 15 SUVs with the best visibility and why with prices and specs. Okay, so let's see, we'll do long instruct. And now we wait. Let's see here. Let's do, so this is what we got with shortly. Okay, copy.ai, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of digging this. This is solid, a 15 SUVs with the best visibility and why with prices. Just put that again there. Let's do witty. All right, I don't know what witty will do, but maybe it'll be like, hey, this SUV is good. You can see out the window because it has a window. Uh, the three best SUV, SUV best visibility. Okay, interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what this is doing. Create content. Copy, more like this. Okay, maybe, okay, kind of, it kind of failed on that. Find me the top SUV models with best visibility. Okay, and let's see if ChatGPT gets it, because I think it will. ChatGPT is pretty smart for a computer, which computers are pretty smart. Okay, so it's going to say you can't do the 2021. So that's the downside. But uh, we could use Bard and we can use, let's try um, ChatGPT in this. I think this will show up. Okay, so ChatGPT shows up in um, what, uh, Edge is what it's called. Uh, Internet Edge, Explorer Edge, something like that. Microsoft Edge. Let's see, 15 SUVs with the best visibility and prices. Write an article. So this is free, right? If you have Edge, this, boom, there you go. So let's see what we got here. And we'll compare this. Okay, so, okay. Now, ChatGPT, as far as, and, and ladies and gentlemen, I need you to understand something. If you're digging this, smash the like button. I need you to understand this because you're going to get sidetracked with all the stuff. You're going to get sidetracked with all the different AI tools that are out here. Okay? And there's going to be new tool after new tool after new tool. And it's going to get overwhelming. How many of you guys right now, you're like, this is totally overwhelming. I don't know what's going on. This kind of sucks. Right? How many of you guys are like that? Let me know. Uh, show of hands, and we'll see if that is uh, what we're looking at there. Okay, so show of hands, let me know in the chat box if you feel overwhelmed by all the ads. That's why we're doing this. That's why I went through and I spent all this money on these tools to show you what's happening. Now, I will tell you, there is something more important than good content. Okay, this is super important. If you don't get this, you are going to spend and waste money on tools that don't work. What's better than good content is accurate understanding. Okay, when it comes to AI, yes, you could get content for anything. There are programs like content spinners, and content spinners are pieces of junk, in my opinion. Complete waste of money. Years ago, uh, people tried to buck the system with, um, there was a program called Traffic Geyser. And what it would do is it would rewrite the top listings on Google for a keyword, put them on your site, and because of that, it ranked. And it actually worked until it didn't, right? And it made a lot of money for a lot of people, but then it also made a lot of people go broke. What that did not do is it did not have an accurate understanding of what people wanted based on why they're searching. Now, this is super important because if you don't get this, then you are going to have all kinds of trouble and you're not going to understand why to use the tools you need to use. 
Notice how we were talking earlier about the AI understanding what I'm giving it. It needs to understand the prompt, because if it's not understanding the prompt, then you are forever going to struggle. You're going to go through it. You'll be like, well, why is my content not ranking? Why is this stuff not getting picked up? Why is the content being flagged as junk? Well, I'll tell you why. Because the AI is not understanding what you're saying. This goes beyond prompt engineering. right? People tell you, oh, prompt engineering, prompt engineering, prompt engineering. Yes, I can do creative stuff to get AI to do what I want. But if you're trying to create content that is of value, then you need one that is going to focus. And so far, we're looking at this, and, and, and ChatGPT is looking like it's doing pretty good. And ChatGPT is one of the least expensive tools. I think there's even a free version uh, that you can use. All right, we are definitely on coffee number two and water number two. <laughs> there we go. All right, so we see here that even though it doesn't have the 2021 info, it did do a good job. This understood why. I like this. Tall windows, good sight lines, high seating position. OK, now this is actually, I want you to think in terms of someone buying a car. OK, now for me, you guys probably can't tell because the studio doesn't have like a, a tape measure. But I'm about five foot one. I wear big heels because then I could be five foot two or five foot three. And you know, there you go. But at any rate, when I was buying cars, I wanted to buy a Jeep and I wanted to buy a truck. One of the most important things that I needed is a uh, power seat. Because if a car doesn't have a power seat, I'm not going to be able to reach the pedals. I'm not going to be able to see over uh, the, the dash, right? Like, I got to have it. And that's something that's important to me. Or uh, we did a call last week, uh, or we were on live last week, where we were talking about, we were talking about um, e-bikes, right? I got my e-bike over there. I ride it to work every day. Again, same thing. I needed an e-bike that when I got on it, my feet weren't nine feet off the ground because that's a safety issue. I need to be able to put my feet on the ground so I can stop. Um, and that was an intent. That sometimes is an intent that AI might not get. Now, what we're going to be looking at is the prompt engineering and the ability to stack based on other stuff. So my question here is, does this $1,000, let's, let's say I keep all this stuff, and I upgrade the one, and I'm at $2,500 a month for these tools. All right? Is that going to be worthwhile? Will I be able to get $2,500 worth of content? Yes, I think I, I, I will. But I also think there's a hack that you can use to use a $50 or a $20 program and actually get the same output, if not more. Because some of these tools, like the one we were talking about with um, copy.ai and stuff like that, or um, content at scale. OK, that, that is costing $25 per output. Now let's go ahead and open up Jasper. I know a lot of people have asked about Jasper. So we're going to take a look at Jasper here. Um, Jasper is $99 a month. I pay $20 a month for the image add-on. OK, and the image add-on allows me to add on images, which is cool. Right now, I did like the little art image thing, because I was. Uh, let's do this off screen in case the AI is like, hey, you know what? Uh, luxury SUVs are something else. All right, so we could do create luxury SUV interior IOR. And we'll hit create art. Let's see what it comes up with for us. Well, wait a minute. I do like the art one, because when I do something like this, OK, and it looks like it did get the idea here. OK, so I could use these in, apparently, this guy's sitting that way. Like, I don't know. That dude's feet are going to be in your way as the driver. So I, 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 I don't know. Right? And this one, this guy don't get a headrest here. He just, uh, sorry, you don't get a headrest. Um, this one looks OK, although they're like sitting in the back, but not really. And then this one apparently has another seat over here. So that's like the SUV with a lot of seats, right? So if you're 
you got a bunch of kids, that's the SUV to get. Or this one here, you can just watch your kid right in the seat next to you. <laughs> Maybe that's what it's for. But it's going to show you what's going on. Now, as far as the content writing, we can go through and we can use the chat. So it has a chat, which I like, because we can build on and build on. So it's allowing us to prompt it, which is good. So let's say we give this the same thing that we gave um, ChatGPT via uh, the, the Bing browser thing, Edge, right? Um, and this one just gave us a list, so whatever. Let's go and let's do 15 SUVs with best visibility and why with prices. Now, again, comparing with ChatGPT, this did a fantastic job of getting me what I want. So let's see what happens when we stack these on top of each other. All right, so we got this here, and we're going to compare with luxury SUVs. So it's got us a list, which is good. Now, this list, I'll tell you right now, this is going to be flagged as AI content because it is a list type thing. OK, so we'll do like this, and we'll go to a AI checker. I guarantee this is going to be flagged big time, bigly, as it were. Right? So we'll do analyze. Well, hey, OK, that's interesting. So I got a little theory here. Does anyone know what my theory is? The theory is, is that these AI content detectors don't know nothing about nothing. I think, I think they're kind of full of it, right? Because if I'm like, OK, let's do this. The, um, what's my e-bike called? The whatever e-bike, giant e-bike is good for short riders and is only $2,700. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There you go. So this is saying it was written by a robot, but I just wrote it just now. It's only $2,700 and fits shorter riders, riders, right like this, shorter riders that have smaller legs. OK, let's see. 87. So it's saying, yes, this is human generated. OK, so it's OK. Right now, this one here, it says is OK. So now, interesting. Let's see if it gives a different result looking it up a different time. Get rid of five words. Get rid of 27 characters. There we go. Let's see here. Human generated. OK, interesting. So I think these things are kind of not there yet. OK, uh, there we go. You guys weren't even seeing that. But here you could see, um, I think these tools are not there yet. So we got to look at that and see what's going on. OK, so there you go. Now, when we go through, this one here is the one that I put into the AI checker. Let's try this one. OK, so OK, GPT-3. Oh, wait, we got to clear it. Let's see here. Has anyone tried putting original content in the? Yes, I have tried putting original content into an AI checker. And it, it's all over the place. They don't really know. I don't think it's up to, to date. This is saying this is human text. It's literally written by ChatGPT4. OK, let's try it in ChatGPT3. Let's see if there's a difference. Maybe that's why, right? You guys digging this? Smash a like button if you're like, oh, OK, this is, this is cool. We're just going through. We're talking about how this stuff works. So let's use. Default 3.5, give it the same info. OK. This is actually good content. I like this. I mean, for free chat GPT, this is pretty good. Now, again, we can probably stack this on top of other stuff. So if you're watching this and you're like, Margaret, you know, you got all this money to spend on these tools. You don't need them, right? You don't really need them. Now, this here we're seeing is AI. It's like, boom, AI flagged content. There you go. Let's try this here. So this tool says 66. This tool says it's all chat GPT. OK, and there you go. Now, we can go through. Let's try something 
Lyft affiliate program. Okay, if you do Lyft affiliate program, this is a keyword ranking I've had in Google for like three years now, and it was written by a human. Let's see if this passes the test. I know it was written by a human because I wrote it. Actually, I paid to have it written, but it was before ChatGPT was a thing. So this says fantastic. So that says that that was a good idea there. It is saying that. Let's try this. Okay. And again, I think you're going to find that it is kind of all over the place. Okay. And we can even go through and say, well, maybe I can use ChatGPT and Jasper. So Jasper has got some good content. This is way better than what I was getting last night with the test. I think my test last night was like, it was crazy. I think it was under the documents. Yeah, I think it was this one. Yeah, see, yeah, the Audi, Audi Q888, Audi, uh, it sounds like, uh, like, like that guy in the 80s, you know, back, 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 back in time. But <laughs> I don't know, there you go. Um, but today it's doing better with the chat, so I think yay for chat, uh, Jasper here. Um, and this is actually pretty good content. Let's put this in a uh, checker here. Okay, boom. And generate plagiarism. So it's saying it is 100% unique. Good. Let's see if it says that it was um, AI. There we go. 37. So it did detect it. Now, we could do this. Here's a little tip. You guys want a little tip um, that's pretty cool? Right, here's a tip that I use all the time. This is very simple. Okay? What we're going to do is we are going to go to the AI, Jasper or whatever, and we will say, now write this so it cannot be detected by an AI detector. Now, I have done this, and I got one that was like a 37 like this, up to 100% human. OK, now this is not going to let us do that. Let's try now write this so it will not be detected by an AI generator, tech, uh, AI checker. OK? OK, it's not going to let us do that. Um, let's try now, rewrite that, but talk like a sailor or a pirate, right? Sailor. We'll put pirate because I can't spell today. There we go. There we go. Army Hardies, you be asking me. <laughs> okay, so apparently it's not going to do that. It did last week, but I don't know. Maybe uh, the old Jolly Roger ain't going to scallywagon whatever. Um, you could say do it anyway, but, you know, again, we got to kind of play around with that. Let's do now rewrite the article in a friendly tone. There you go. So now it's going to write this in a friendlier tone, and we can kind of play it around with these and see if it passes the, the AI test. Again, we don't want to do anything shady. We don't want to do anything weird. We're just allowing AI to help us. And you can see here, 7%. Um, Jasper, I don't remember what this one got. Let's see. Right like this. Too many characters. All right. So here we have this. Got 21 characters. There we go. You're getting close there. There we go. OK, so we'll analyze this one. And yes, exactly, affiliate marketing, William, uh, good content is whatever the user finds useful. Exactly. Um, there are videos that I watch. There's things that I read that um, you know, a lot of other people were like, that's not helpful to me. But it is something that, that I consume. So it depends on your audience and giving them exactly what they want. What I would do is I would use AI to get all this. And then let me, let me let you in on a little secret. Double check this. 
right? Because sometimes AI is going to be dead wrong. It is not going to know what the prices are or what's good or whatever. Now, this one's talking about safety and things like that. Um, not so much visibility. Some of it is. I think um, that did OK. This one here, chat GPT, large windows. And then you can expand on this. So I could go to Jasper and say, expand. Oh, come on. Expand on, why is it not typing? All right, let's do a new chat. All right, I think we, we done broke it, right? But we could go through and have uh, that do this stuff. Let's try uh, this with InstructBot. Expand on this article, please, 1,500 words. Let's see if it does a good job. All right, and while we're waiting for that, let's try, um, let's try this one. OK. RAV4 visibility. OK, so there we go. And let's do right for me. Let's do a lot and see what we get. So this one here. Did an article on the RAV4. That's pretty cool. It gave a little overview. Not so much. It's got the interior. It doesn't so much show visibility. Let's try, can you talk more about the visibility in the RAV4? OK. Mm, maybe we need to go do another one. Can you talk about the visibility in the RAV4 and prices with specs and car info? Okay, let's see if this does it. Like, I, what I'm looking for here is like, you know, the seat height is this. You can see out of the car, even if you're small, the tires are this. Something like that. So, specs, car info, visibility. So, it does give a little bit. So, we're, we're getting there. Um, this one, Toyota RAV4, this is shortly, this is content bot. Shortly, the post about the RAV4, how it offers, doesn't, doesn't really say much about it. Large windows, so it's, it's getting there. I would give it like a 3 out of 10 on this. Um, it looks like shortly AI can give us what we want, but we're going to have to learn prompt engineering for it. Let's try another one. This is copy.ai. Can you talk about the visibility in the RAV4 with prices and specs? OK, you guys digging this? Smash a like button if you are. And then let's try, this is copy.ai, which I really liked. OK, so that's getting us create content, magically creating content. All right, it reminds me of like the serial guy, magic delicious cereal or something like that. OK, so we could do more like this. And then you can kind of pick, which is good. Uh, let's try the big old kahuna here. Let's try AI Writer. We haven't tried this yet. Let's talk about the visibility of the RAV4. It looks like it allows you to do 1,000 words. OK, so it's going to be done in three minutes. Let's try also. What do we got? Content at scale. Where'd we go? We had content at scale open a minute ago. There we go. OK, so content at scale. This is the big kahuna one. This is the one that costs a lot. So let's do, uh, since we're going to use a credit, let's, let's make the content good. So we'll go projects. I think we could do a new project. OK, so we'll do uh, new suv.org, new suv.org, and then we'll do what's the website about, suvs assigned to the URL. OK, so we, I think we need to create it within the project, view project, add post. 
Okay, how do we add a new one? Where do we go? Add content. There we go. Okay, target keyword, um, SUV visibility. Okay, additional content. Let's do, okay, so this is going to allow us to do different sizing. Talk about this. So give me the 15 2023 SUVs with the best visibility and prices and specs and why they have good visibility. Okay, let's see how this one does here. Boom, and now it's gonna go create it. I think it usually, check back in a few minutes. Okay, so it should show up here and then it'll give us a little progress report. Let's see how that other one's doing. Okay, this one did okay. This one, it's a start. So copy.ai had some good ones. This one, minute 44 left. Okay, let's put all these over here so I can keep an eye on them. That one looked pretty good. And then this one we're waiting on as well. Okay, there it goes. So now it's going, it looks like it's, uh, I think yesterday it took about 12 minutes to, to come up with it, but it came out with some phenomenal content, which was like, oh, okay, that's probably why it costs a lot, but hey, you know. Um, again, you're limited, like you only get 20 posts a month. Um, could you pay an outsourcer $500 a month to do that? Yes, I think if you paid an outsourcer, you'd get 20 a month, so that would be four a week. Yeah, you'd probably be around the same, the same output, and it'd be about the same price, maybe a little bit less. Okay, so this one here, we're waiting. Content at scale, status is going. Let's see, we did chat GPT. What else did we have? AI content detector, so this one here. Um, and then again, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna utilize it and, and go through this and go through all the keywords and stuff like that. Now it's important to realize like when you're looking at something like everything pantry, okay, this was a spam example. This is junk, don't do it, but we are seeing that AI passed the test and it is getting traffic, right? Now there are some interesting niches here. What I like about sites like this is we could go through and we could look at the niche and say, well, hey, maybe I can go for this and promote something on ClickBank. There actually is a, a ClickBank product for that. And I could go through and say, well, maybe I can buy a, a domain for that or start from scratch and, and, and build some AI content for it. Okay, so very cool. Let's look at these ones here. Visibility, we're waiting. Okay, working on it. That means we get to have some coffee. And again, the key here is to focus on output that's actually gonna be good and actually help people. That is number one. If you don't get that, you got nothing. Now, my prediction, which is, I mean, it's like 100% accurate on this one, this site's gonna tank. Why? Because they're trying to do this with everything and it's just really garbage content. They're just putting stuff out there, ranking, making money, and then it dies out and they get banned or whatever. Not a good strategy. Um, and, and that site here, you can see what they rank for. You can see that they, they do show up. And there are other ones that show up, right? Like this guy here, um, this one shows up. And then I'm not sure if Worst Brands is. Let me check it out and see if that is a AI one. It doesn't look like it. We'll check that one out as well, but let's take a look at this. I know for a fact this one's AI, and I'll show you why in a second. Let me see if I can find it. So see how this is ranking, but again, not a whole lot of good stuff here. This is a little bit more, well, not really. Yeah, it's kind of all over the place. And what we wanna do is something very tight knit. Now, when we look at everything pantry, what you're gonna look at, and again, don't do this. This is a spam version. This is not good stuff, but what you're gonna see on the term, Terms of use, this is this is a 100% AI site. So what we're looking at is AI is ranking. Okay, sites that are trying to buck the system with AI are not going to last long. But can we use AI in a good way? And, and I believe we can, right? I believe it's something that that can be used in a simple way, like 
using the SUV site, where we're going through and we're prompting info that people are going to want. We check it, maybe have someone on staff that checks it out, or maybe you go check it out and look at it in a very simple way, right? And when we could see content at scale, looks like it's almost done. This one here taking longer than expected. Let's see, reload. It is working on it. All right, um, and we could see what's going on there. Now, it's very important to look at this because you will get sucked into all the tools. And what we need to do is we need to look at what we want and why. What is it that you're after? And this is something that's super important because if we go and we look at what we're after, right? Like, what is it that I want? Okay, what do I want my AI to do? Is it save time? Okay, if you want it to save time, then let me save you some money and just go use ChatGPT because what ChatGPT or even um, uh, Bard, which is fantastic by the way, will do the work of research. Okay, so it will research it for you. And if you don't mind adding a little bit to the research, this will probably do really good. Okay, now can you just go to ChatGPT and other AI programs, take the content and slap it on a blog? Well, yes, but it's probably not going to rank very long because what's going to happen is we are going to have an increase in garbage search engine rankings, much like we had in 20, uh, 2003. In 2003, there was a huge increase. That was the first Google update, right? You had, I think it was Penguin or Panda back then. It was way back. I don't even remember what it's called. It's back when we called the Google Dance. And Google would do its little dance, pick up the new websites, and everything would happen there. But what they did is they started doing updates to get rid of garbage sites. AI, you're going to see these updates all the time. Like where it happened once a year, once every couple years, now it's going to be every couple months or every month because they're going to have to pick up on garbage. So if you think you're going to go out there and get an AI tool and just slap it on your blog, you probably got another thing coming. Okay? Now, if you go out there and you utilize this for research, yes, save some money, make it good. Now, so far, what I've found with some of these tools, let's see if we can put these back here so that I could go through them. We got lots of paper today. I'll put this right back here. And hopefully that will stay up for the remainder of the call. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to look at these tools here. And we're going to say, well, what is it we're going to use? And so far, what I've found is content at scale is probably the best you're going to get to content you can just generate and put on your site. OK? That's pretty close. Other ones, we got Surfer SEO, which we're going to test after our next commercial break. Uh, AI Writer, Phrase.io seemed OK, Jasper. It's going to take some work to get that up to par because it's not passing um, the tests. So most of these we're going to have to do some work on. So let's dive in and let's talk about what kind of work we're going to have to do, why, what's the best value for the money, how can we make these work in a way that's going to help us. And we'll, we'll dive into the um, SUV site here as well. So very important. We have to look at this. We have to understand this. Because if you want to make a living with AI and search engine rankings, this is probably one of the most important calls you can be on. Because if we understand, OK, here's, here's, our, here's our, our list. OK, so let's do best SUV for obese drivers. Interesting. OK, that is something that you know I look up SUVs for short people, and, and, and other people are going to look them up for, for larger people. And there is a need for content like this. So we could go through, do a new chat. Let's do four. And you could see the differences here, uh, concise speed reasoning. So the reasoning on this is the best. OK, so we'll use four. Uh, best SUVs for obese drivers. And why? With prices. Now, what I want to do is I want to think ahead. I want to think, OK, well, are there any government credits that people that are extra big can get for SUVs they need? Maybe. OK, so Ford Expedition, they're probably going to have vans and stuff like that. Let's also put that in here. So let's see how the visibility of the RAV4 is going. 
download. Okay, so it's going to be a text file. Text from SEO editor, AI. Okay, so version one from SEO editor, less line width. Can you talk about the visibility in RAV4? In the Toyota RAV4 is low windshield, boxy proportions, front bumper. Can it, bumper? If you got a problem seeing over the bumper, that's, that's, I don't know, what do you, what, yeah, we'll leave that be to see out of the car, especially if you're driving a car with a bolder view of the road. Side mirrors, okay, it's okay. Let's see if it, okay, so it's got several versions, okay? Windshield, so this, this version looks pretty good, sources four to seven, so it does show the sources. Okay, so this here was written by AI Writer. I, I like it. Let's see if a snippet will pass the test. Okay, so about half of it needs to go. There we go. 65% human generated. Okay, again, look at your patterns. There's probably some patterns in here you can use. Let's see if it passes plagiarism. And we wait and wait. Good thing we got water. Okay, plagiarism 3%, looking pretty good. Best-selling cars, Avalon advances. So not a whole lot of plagiarism that directly fits. But this is looking pretty decent. Okay, so uh, content, or what was this one? This was um, AI Writer. This is $59, and I think, I think it's unlimited. It did take a little bit of time. Let's see. Um, let's use a different AI Writer pricing. AI Writer. What is it? AIWriter.com. AI-Writer.com. Okay, so the pricing on this one, 40 articles. So I'm at 150 articles, 1,000 articles. So 1,000 articles, 375. That's uh, 10 users. So that's pretty decent. Like if you had a team, if I had a team of outsourcers, I could do some damage with this for $375 a month. Like if I budgeted two other people, part-time or full-time, that were specifically trained on how to make this the good way, that could be a game changer, right? Like this could be a game changer in your content creation um, because it's doing something that works, okay? We're gonna be looking at Surfer SEO uh, after our next break. But are you guys getting this? Do you guys get how this is working? And you're like, okay, yeah, this makes sense. And if you are, smash that like button and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so like this here, let's see, rewrite this. Let's see if it'll rewrite it. So Jasper, Jasper is, uh, let's see, Jasper is 119 a month. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed with AI Writer. Again, the verdict's not out. I'm going to I'm going to take a look at some other stuff. Um, Jasper was okay. Jasper was one of the more expensive basic ones. It did rewrite it, so that's good. Toyota RAV4 undergone. Let's see if this passes now. Because it was at like 80% or 65. So let's see if it gets any better with the rewrite. Analyze, so we were at 65, 100%. Okay, so that's interesting. Let, let's, let's try rewrite on this one. So I could actually go and see if this will, it's not gonna rewrite it because it's not a chat. Okay, so interesting. So AI writer is not chat-based. Okay, so if you're looking to hey, get me the best SUVs, great. Now which ones are for obese people and which ones are for small people? No, this is not going to do that. Okay, but did it give me good uh, content? It did. It did. Did it pass the test? Close. Okay, again, take it with a grain of salt, but it's close. 
I think that a multi-pronged approach, like, OK, if I was going to have um, AI writer, and I was going to get the, the $50 a month, and I was going to get Jasper, now I'm at 200 a month, and I'm doing OK. Now, can I do the same thing with ChatGPT? Well, let's take a look. So if I took this and said, well, let's, let's go to the raw example. So the raw example was over here. OK, and it looks like this one's pending optimization, so it's almost ready. OK, so the raw example was here. This is the exact snippet we took. OK, let's go to ChatGPT, rewrite this. Let's see if this passes it. OK, and again, let's, let's get an exact snippet so you guys see what's going on. There we go. Why did I close that? Uh, what was it? There's something. Let's see. There we go. Okay, there we go. We will, we will get the hang of this here. Again, smash the like button if you dig this. These are actually very difficult to do because there's so much stuff going on. All right, so we got like this, analyze text. And again, helpful, AIcontent.com. Um, on Saturday, we're going to have a full out training on prompting and everything like that. So we got this here, 65%. So now we have it rewritten. And let's see if ChatGPT passes it with a rewrite. We know that Jasper did. Jasper passed it with flying colors. It was 100%. Again, take that with a grain of salt. But again, stacking these up and utilizing them. Like, I got to look at this as a business person and say, OK, well, if I, let's say I kept, which is now $2,500 a month. Let's say I kept $2,500 worth of these tools a month. Can I make 2,500 with them? OK, now I got 700 in the domain name, which you guys are going to watch. You guys are going to see live as I build this. But is it worth it? Now, for most people, again, you don't have $2,500 a month uh, to risk on that. So you know, you're going to have to find a more bare bones way, which might be utilizing Jasper and ChatGPT and stuff like that. OK, so here, let's see. I think we're already at our quota. So let's see if this passes. So this is the exact same thing rewritten by ChatGPT. OK, now we were at 65 before the rewrite. Let's analyze 98. OK, so if you wanted to, you probably could use AI-Writer, which is $59 a month. Right? Is that that's the right one? Let's see. There we go. AI Writer, $59 a month, and ChatGPT free version. Okay, or if you pay for ChatGPT, now you're at $79 a month. So you could use those together. Now, again, this one, um, the pricing, $59. So not too bad for 150 articles. Most of you guys, I mean, if 150 articles is three per day. So if you're not doing three websites, then you're probably just going to bombard it with too much. OK, yeah, Max Edger, I remember that guy too. Um, but yeah, I mean, most of you guys can get by with that. How many of you guys, let's, let's pull the audience. You tell me before we go to our next break. Again, after the break, we're going to go through some good stuff. Do you have $100 a month if you wanted to invest in your business? Or is that something where you're like, no way, no how, I can't even find $100 a month? Right? Is that something that? is way out, or is that something that is, is in? Is that something that you could do? Right? you got to kind of look at that and take it with a grain of salt. So answer that question. Type 100 in the box. Type 0 in the box if it's impossible. Type 50 in the box if you're like, maybe, maybe. OK? All right, I will be right back with you. And hopefully, we'll be able to get uh, the SEO one going. All right. Oh, hi there. Don't worry, Marcus will be right back in just a few minutes. If you want to get a Lamborghini full of cash like me, make sure you pay attention to this important announcement. Ha 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 ha
All right, guys, a couple of cool things that you're gonna wanna pay attention to. Number one, over at helpfulaicontent.com, I have some really cool stuff that you're gonna wanna check out. Number one, we have notes from the video webinar you're watching right now. So, once you go to helpfulaicontent.com, you can click here to download the notes. All you gotta do is put your name and email in and we will send those notes to you right away once they are completed. I actually have a full team standing by making notes of this live stream right now as you're watching it. Number two, and probably the most important part, on Saturday, April 8th, I am going to be having a special webinar about how I use AI tools to make helpful content that actually ranks in the search engines, helps people out, and provides a good user experience so that you can make money. If you're interested in joining that full out training, check out the link right here on helpfulaicontent.com. You can go right here and sign up for that webinar. Full training, you'll get the recordings, the notes, and everything for just a one-time deal of $27. Yep, that's right. We're going to show you everything about AI content, including how to use it for SEO, how to create product, creating AI lead magnets, getting traffic, creating content, and more. So if you want to see me take a deep dive into the SUV site we talked about, you're definitely going to want to be on Saturday's webinar. And last but not least, I have compiled a list of all the links and all the tools that I've been testing in this live stream so that you can check them out. Yes, they are affiliate links, so I'll get paid a little bit if you sign up. So if you appreciate the time and effort we put into these live streams, go on over to HelpfulAIContent.com and check out the cool stuff we have waiting for you. Whoa, that's some cool stuff you got there over at HelpfulAIContent.com. But, Marcus, hey. Marcus, where are you? Come on, hurry up, these people are waiting. Marcus, come on. All right, now back to our show. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Okay, so we got uh, everything going on again, your notes at helpfulaicontent.com and Saturday, uh, we're gonna have a amazing training uh, where we're going to go over all the AI stuff. Uh, in detail, we're going to talk about how I make money with it, which is super, super important. Um, I think you guys have to pay attention to that because AI is here to stay. I mean, it's weird, it's creepy, but, you know, there you go. I think, I think even our uh, little monster over there is getting tired being two hours in the live stream. So we'll see how much uh, more we can get there. So what we got here is this one we're looking at AI writer now I did upgrade my program here so we're going to take a look at surfer uh, content editor okay so let's do this here we'll do the same thing um, talk about the visibility of the RAV4 SUV with prices actually I think this might be well, there we go. What did it, where'd they go? Okay, so this is this is looking at keywords like a keyword tool. So interesting here. Now, Surfer SEO. This one is fifty nine dollars a month uh, for the plan that I have. It looks like it has ten edits, twenty audits. I don't know how the creator is. Let's do SUV visibility. Okay, so this is going to do decals. SUV decals. Okay, so this is primarily decals. I want to check this with our keyword tool because, ladies and gentlemen, what is most important to me is being on point with the keywords. Like, that's what I care about. So if Surfer SEO is going to be like, hey, I'm the guy for the keywords, then let's see if you're the guy for the keywords. Let's, let's check it out here. All right. Um, again, all of what you're seeing here is my opinions based on my limited testing of this. But, you know, I've been doing this a long time, so there you go. All right, so let's do SUV visibility. SUV visibility. Visibility. How do you spell that? I don't know. Hopefully we'll spell it right. Visibility. Let's make sure this is spelled correctly. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're seeing here... 200 searches for SUV with best visibility. That's important to me. 
That's very important to me. So let's see 390. OK, so it does show it. Now, notice how it was a little work. Like if I type that in, I would be like, oh, well, no, there's nothing on that keyword. Next. And I would miss out on traffic. I don't like that. But, you know, so can you use Surfer without another keyword tool? On this example, no, I can't. So I'm going to have to have a keyword tool there. So we'll click this. Um, best rear visibility, um, best visibility cars. OK, so let's do these two. Again, I'm a big fan of keeping it to a couple of keywords. And then we're going to also rank for the other stuff as well. Now, it's interesting here, actually, we can see here cars SUV with best visibility for short drivers. Interesting. So that's cool. Something that uh, I have experience with, so I can help with that. Um, so when we're seeing this here, I'm going to keep this really small. I could see here with short drivers, and on and on we go. So let's take a look at Surfer. What do we do now? Create content editor. OK, let's see where this goes. OK, and we wait and wait and wait. Uh, side note, do you, do you guys like the circle picture of me? Or did you like the square one? I was trying to reduce the distraction so that you can focus on what I'm talking about. Uh, Summit says, testing 20 years and researching a mad scientist. Hey, I've been doing this a long time. Uh, let's see. Hey, Scripley says he, uh, he or she made $138 on the new affiliate marketing website. Haven't done anything since November. Awesome. Double down on it. John says he makes 25 bucks a month with Amazon. Well, guys, you got to go through and, and build it up. Because if you can make 25, you can make 2,500. And if you can make 2,500, you can probably make 25,000. And that is the way the cookie crumbles if you're focusing. Um, and that's why, like, in our Blog Profit Network and in all the courses we have, we go through your stuff and talk about it and make it work. So here we have this. This is taking a while. Let's do keyword research. So that is the same thing we were on. So here's our summary. OK, so as a keyword tool, personally, I'm not going to use this as a keyword tool. Content edits in process. OK, content score. Start writing or type a slash. OK, we did, did a slash. <laughs> OK, there's no slash there. So let's, uh, let's, let's see. Um, we got SUVs with the, where'd we go? SUV, vis SUV with the best S uh, visibility. OK, so let's see how this works. And again, I wanted to give you a straight up Here's the first time I'm using these tools so that you can see what the barrier of entry is. Because to me, I want a tool that's easy to use. right? A lot of you guys, this is a personal thing. Okay? A lot of you guys don't know this. Um, there are a lot of keyword tools that pay lots of money to people like me because they want affiliates. And I know I could make an extra $100,000 a year or more promoting those. I don't. I tell you my favorite tool because my favorite tool does the things I want, and it's easy to find what we need. So I put that aside because I want you guys to get the right information. That's why I don't recommend any other stuff. I'm like, hey, that's the one I use. I use Ahrefs. That's what I got. They don't got an affiliate program, so I'm just going to tell you the best stuff I use because I don't want a barrier of entry. And if there's a tool, just a couple days ago, I was talking to someone who, who works here now, and we were talking about putting video titles on the screen. And I'm like, it needs to be the exact way I put them on the screen, because that's how I want them. And, and, and that has to do with engagement. And so I'm not going to compromise on that. And far too many people are compromising because of some tool, and it's, it's, it's garbage. right? Forget about this stuff. If you can get the result, get the result. Because at the end of the day, it's about making money. It's not about really making life easy. 
right? Like I use Infusionsoft, which is ridiculously expensive and mind-blowingly confusing, but I use it for the three things I use it for and it's worth it. I'm like, there we go, right? So we need to look at the barrier of entry. A lot of people, oh, Mark, just use Shopify. Well, why don't you use PayPal first because it's easy. Get rid of the barrier of entry. Get rid of the info overload. Get rid of the junk and get to what really works. And that's why with something like this, when I go in and I'm like, okay, this keyword tool is going to send me down rabbit holes that I don't need to go down. Does it give me some helpful stuff? Sure. Is it helpful stuff that's going to be so big? No, it's not. So we need to take this with a grain of salt. And it's, it's taking me off topic. So now let's go through and let's look at the best SUV one. So we're going to go to our content editor and we're going to type SUVs with the best, 15 SUVs with best visibility with prices and specs or stats or whatever. Okay, so now we have this. Do we, do we enter, start writing, or type a slash? Insert outline, create link. Okay, uh, how do we generate content? Outline, outline builder. Okay, so titles with pictures, headings. Okay, now how do we import this? Okay, so add section to your content. So it's adding as we go. So it's kind of like a, here's a bunch of AI, pick and choose what you want to use. So if I want the Subaru in there, boom. I want the Honda in there. I want the Honda H. And let's put the Subaru Crosstrack, Kia Soul. Okay, so Subaru Forester was first launched. So it's giving me data about the Subaru, and no, I don't want that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, Kia Soul, five doors. Okay, so it's, it's okay. Um, let's see, so it's given me some kind of content score. Gives me the words and the headings. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's see. Content score is a number, grades of content, content based on relevancy. Okay, that could be helpful. And again, if you guys like this stuff, make sure you follow me. We're gonna do a test with multiple different sites to show you which ones rank, how long they last, and everything like that. Um, okay, so there we have that. So it's okay, eh, questions. Do SUVs have better? What cars have the best, most blind spots? Do SUVs have more blind spots? I like that, okay? So for me, Surfer SEO, it's got some keyword tool helps, but that there, that could be a game changer in terms of, oh, now that changed my content. Why is this important, ladies and gentlemen? Well, let me know if you know in the comments, right? This is, this is super important. If you guys get why this is important, I think it's going to start to make a lot of sense for you. And let's, let's get down to the nitty gritty here. Let's see, where we go? Take this with us, there we go. All right, we'll get down to the nitty gritty here. Um, what we're looking at is the fact that if I'm creating content, okay, so this is Surfer SEO. Smash a like button if you guys are digging this. We got another almost two hours to go. I, I hope I can make it that long. Let's see here. All right, what I like about this is it took me from SUV visibility, okay, and it took me to do SUVs have more blind spots? Okay, so without even asking it, like I didn't prompt it, oh, hey, give me 50 million titles for this, which we'll get into in a minute. So SUV visibility, we now went to SUV blind spots. Now, here's the deal. If I make a video or a content about SUV visibility, boring, lame, no one wants to read it. However, if I make SUV blind spots, that's something that's going to get traction. That's something I can make a good thumbnail about. That's something that can actually do extremely well. So in terms of this, I think, yes, I'm going to keep 
my surfer SEO. Okay, I like it. I, I think it's good. Now, again, I have the luxury of being able to spend a bunch of money on all these tools. So in the rest of this training, we're going to talk about what do you really need and why. Right? I'm going to keep all of these because I want to give you guys good data. But again, what do we want to keep and why? Can you get by with Blindspot or with uh, Surfer SEO? Can you get by with that? Okay, this is super important. So we will talk about uh, how this works and go through it. So let's go over here and pull this up. I think what we're looking at here in terms of Surfer SEO is a compiler. I, I don't think this is so much a writer as much as it is a compiler. So we are going to use this to compile different things. Okay, Like Mark says, huge new critical point for people looking to buy an SUV for their family safety. I, I agree. Um, very important. Okay, uh, Robert, if you're having trouble, uh, use our support site. So like you could just go to, um, let me show you how to find our support site. A lot of people miss this, but it's actually really easy. So if you ever need support or help with any of our products or anything, just go to pcmoneymaking.com. Scroll down here, click this live chat. Lauren's right there. She's online right now. Uh, she'll help you with whatever you need. OK? So there we go. And um, so as far as a compiler, I do like this. I like the way that this makes me think differently. OK, does everyone get that? It's making me think differently, which will change the game entirely, because do SUVs have more blind spots? That's something I would want to read, even if I have a car. That's something that's going to appeal to a lot of people. Like Casey says, it's a suggestion you wouldn't have thought of otherwise. Exactly. And that's what we want, right? We want to think differently. And, you know, I realize, guys, I've been doing this a long time. I realize that I think differently than a lot of people. So if this could give you the edge, I think it would probably wor be worth checking out. Okay, and again, we'll have the full data report on um, helpfulaicontent.com as well. But we're starting to see. Okay, this makes us think differently, and we can compile this now. As far as keyword research, okay, it kind of froze up on us. Let's see what's going on here. Let's try affiliate programs or affiliate program. Let's see what comes up here. OK, it looks like we already did that one, but we'll see what's going on. Looks like clustering. So I'm not too impressed with that. I'm not too impressed with the way it writes content. Uh, like, it's not super great. But I think if you were on a budget, Surfer SEO and ChatGPT, yeah, those would work good together. I, th I think this would have enough to help you think different. ChatGPT would have enough to, to get your content. Now, if you have a little bit extra money, I really did like the way that AI Writer um, made content. I really like that. Um, if you're like, hey, I want to do this to win it, we'll talk about the other stuff as well, like the $500, $1,000 options, um, which I think is important. Okay, But again, thinking different is something that I, I believe it can be a game changer. Okay, um, one of the things too, Surfer is a little slow. I I don't have patience, which kind of uh, bugs me. John says, "How does Blindspot rank in keywords?" It doesn't. See what we're doing. Let's go back to the uh, drawing board here. What we're doing is we are using visibility as our keyword, but we're titling it. So what this is going to do is it's going to help us. I would go through and do um, SUV blind spots, what you need to know, SUV visibility, what you need to know about visibility. That way I have SUV and visibility in the title, but I have enough to get the click for something like this. right? And I want you to think like, OK, you know those crappy ads that you see on Facebook where it's like, oh, hey, here's this new whatever. And you see the picture, and you're like, what the heck? Seriously? Right? You're going to look at that and be like, OK, well, I need to uh, structure this different. But what they do correctly is they get the click. And that's what we need to do is get the click. 
right? I think it's super, super, super important, okay? All right, so good stuff. Let's see, where did our chat box go? There we go, okay. And we're gonna take some Q&A as well towards the end, uh, which is cool. Uh, Rajesh says, how is Writer AI tool? I haven't tried that. I will write it down for our next tool. So Writer, Writer. Uh, so we can test that one a little bit later. I can't really get a bunch on here because in order to order them, I have to put my credit card in and that would not be good to be on the live stream. So there you go. Um, but, you know, sometimes on the uh, breaks I can get them. Like I was able to get Surfer on the break. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. But what we're looking at is the way that it makes a structure content different. Now, let's put this to the test and see if the big kahuna can do the magic. All right, so where's our big kahuna? Content at scale. So this is our kahuna. And again, remember, because I'm paying for this, each of these articles is costing me $25, right? Because I paid 500, it's 25 each. So let's see how the SUV uh, visibility models did. Okay, best SUV visibility in-depth guide to seven models. Eh, as far as a clickable headline, meh, it's okay. I'm gonna say six, maybe seven out of 10. Okay, given the rising popularity of SUVs, visibility is a factor, good, gets right into it. As for demand, okay, let's put this here and let's try this in the content checker. And we got 100%. Okay, we're looking good. Let's try another snippet just to be sure. Now, this should flag AI because it's just a list, but it didn't. Okay, interesting. So we're getting there. It did do a good job of, like, if you came to me and you're like, hey, dude, do you think there's like people, right? Is this like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? and they got the Oompa Loompas there making the content when I type this in, you know, you might be able to convince me that there's some Oompa Loompas typing some stuff in here because, hey, this, this is pretty good, right? Um, now we see some interesting stuff. It's got some reports. This, okay, let, 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 let's, let's cut the mustard. Why you'd want to cut mustard, I don't know. Maybe it's on the hot dog, but you know, you gotta have mustard on a hot dog, not ketchup, mustard only. They're very important. That's probably the best takeaway from this video. But at any rate, um, let's cut the mustard. If I paid $25 out of my pocket for this piece of content, how many of you guys, I want you to let me know, okay? Let me know. If I paid $25 for this content, how many of you guys think I would send it back? Okay, how many of you guys think I would send this 35, how many words we got? This is, where's our word count? I think it's like 4,000, 3641. How many of you guys think I would send it back? Say, send back or keep. You think I'd keep it or send it back? You let me know in the comments. I, I wanna see what your thoughts are. Type it in the comments, all right? Now, comments are about 20 seconds behind, so we'll wait for those to pop up. Okay, and you need to type keep or send back. Keep or send back. Not yes or no, type keep or send back. So far, we got one keep, two keeps. Mark says send back, okay? What do you guys think? So, so far we're two and one. One person says send back, two say keep. And everyone should smash that like button. Okay, here's the article again. George says keep. Cave says, if you said keep, pat yourself on the back. There's no way I would reject this for, for $20, $25. If I spent 100 on this, I'd probably still keep it. This is a good piece of content. Now, drum roll, please. I don't have a drum, so we'll use this thing here. All right, there we go. We got to make this kind of fun. All right. Drum roll, please. What we're going to do <coughs> is put this to 
the Big Kahuna test. OK, Big Kahuna text, uh, test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to HireWriters.com. This is a place that I pay for content. All right, like I literally pay for it. This is where I get a lot of the research done for my videos. OK, so what we're going to do here is go to Hire Writers, and I'm going to log in. OK, apparently I have a job that needs my approval. Let's see. OK, so what's this one? All right, so let's see here. We're going to go to completed jobs. As you guys see, this is one of two accounts. I have 5,753 completed jobs, all from anywhere from $10 to $20 each to several hundred dollars each. This is one account. I have another one with the same amount. I've spent well over $100,000 getting content. We're going to put this to the test, and we're going to see if AI can do the trick. OK, so let's go to completed jobs. And recently, I use Hire Writers for my own content, very specific stuff. OK, so what we'll do is, let's see. 25 ways to use Google Alerts for your business. OK, there we go. Let's, let's see here. 25 ways. So this is the text I gave them. Summaries and tips from the following sites on Google Alerts. Alternatives, stuff like that. OK, let's see what they gave me. Download, and this was $75. Plus a tip. So it's probably close to $90 for this content. Let's see what we got. And let's test AI and see if this is going to do the trick. All right, Ben says, I'm just discovering this channel. I'm loving it already. I give you the real deal stuff after being, being in this industry for a long time. OK, so let's go download, show in folder, and we will extract it. Should we do it as a word? Word might make it pretty. So we'll have a pretty little Word document. Or I like this. OK? So here's what we got. This is what I paid $75 for. All right? OK. Uh, Lauren, I won't be able to send you the code for a while. Uh, maybe on the next break, just let me know and we can send it over. If you're still watching, I don't know. I might have put everyone to sleep. I'm awake, but then again, I got 14,000 cups of coffee here. OK, so here's what we got. 25 ways to use Google Alerts for your business. Monitor content, content marketing. So this is looking pretty good. Was I happy at $75? I think so. Let's see what will happen. So we got 25 ways to use Google Alerts for your business. Let's go ChatGPT new. What are 25 ways to use Google Alerts with your business with descriptions? Right, That way, I don't just get a list. Let's see how this does. Monitor brand reputation. OK, let's see how, how close this is. All right, that's from my, my CAN video. <laughs> you got to love Microsoft Word. It like literally opens everything you ever did from the beginning of time when you open Microsoft Word. All right, there we go. So we got monitor content theft. Let's side by side these and see how close they are. Brand reputation, OK. Keep an eye for competitors, content, pretty similar. So like that, let, let's, let's test this out here. Let's copy a snippet, OK? And let's do Grammarly for plagiarism. Now, it might be 100% if I put this on my website. Looks like I didn't, so that's good. Oh, 100%, yeah. So it, it is 2%. So nothing. We're not worried about 2%. Let's do this. Check the AI content detector. Analyze human generated. OK, so we passed human generated. If I was to do chat GPT, OK, let's keep the title. And let's put this here. Analyze drops down to 8. OK, so interesting. Let's do another one here. Let's try AI Writer, ways to use Google Alerts for your business. Let's do 2,500 words. 
Okay, I think that's that's what I paid for at Higher Riders, I believe. Where's Higher Riders? One of these things here. It is open somewhere. Okay, Lauren's still here. All right, she's she's toughing it out. There you go. All right, let's see here. I don't know where that went. I had Higher Riders open somewhere. Um, let's see. There it is. So it was 2,100 word count ended up being, I don't know what the word count was. Let's see. Word should tell us. Hey, look at that. If we get six more likes, we have as many likes as people viewing. So there you go. Give us a like. That'll be cool. Okay, so 2,048 words. Um, great. Did pass the test. ChatGPT did not pass the test. Let's try some other tools. Okay, so we got this one here, 2,500. Let's do 2,100 words. Write article. Value must be 1,200. Okay, so you can only do 1,200 in that. Interesting. Now, that's not to say I can't do two and get 2,400. But again, let's see what happens. So it's going to write this. Four minutes, I'll have it. Jasper, let's see what you got, Jasper. Let's do chat. OK. Ways to use Google Alerts for your business. This is 25. OK. The input is too long. That's weird. OK, remove some text in your prompts. Let's do dashboard chat. Is there a way to start a new one? Uh, yeah, OK, so it looks like uh, they're getting mad at us. And this is a good test to do because it's like, yeah, you want to know if you're paying money for tools, what's going to screw these up? Now it looks like it got it. So clicking the include search seem to fix it. OK. OK, so super fast. We're still waiting on um, this one. But hey, I'd rather wait. Like Usually, when I'm getting them at iWriter or higher writers, I mean, I got to wait all night uh, for that. OK, so let's see here. Does it pass? Analyze. It did pass. OK, so Jasper did pass the test. Again, take that with a grain of salt. Let's see the usefulness of it. Google Alerts is an incredibly useful tool for business of all sizes. Lousy money. Stay up to date. OK. So with Jasper, it didn't follow the instructions. Did anyone catch that? Like again, that that to me is the most important thing. Let's try twenty-five. Yep, twenty-five ways to use Google for your business. Let's see if it follows the instruction now. Okay, include search. Please fill out this field. Sometimes it likes to be a pain. All right, let's see here. OK, so 25 ways to use Google Alerts. And we wait. Let's see how that other one's doing. OK, two minutes left. Let's do, let's do one in the big kahuna. Let's, just, let's see what happens. Apples to apples, if I'm using the big guy, which is content at scale, let's see if it does better than what I paid $75 for. You guys want to see that? Smash the like button if you want to see that. If you're like, yeah, let's see if your human person got that there. And let's see how we're doing. Let's see if that domain sold. That'll be interesting to see if it sold. It was, um, what was it? Pantry. Everything pantry. So see, they keep changing the price on it. Does it have bids? Yeah, it does have bids. So maybe they're not changing the price. Maybe it's just getting bid. And his reserve was at 5000 So uh, 
follow along here. Again, this is a spammy, junky example. But what they did was take this domain, buy it at auction, right, and build it up. And now they're selling it for like 10 grand with AI content. That's, does, that, does anyone else like, wow, that completely is crazy. OK, now again, I would not do it the way they're doing because it's spammy. Do it a better way and sell it for more because some of these sites go for a lot of money. Um, so let's see where the one went. I know it was on here somewhere. I got a lot of tabs here. Content at scale, there we are. OK, cool. So let's do this here. This was looking good, um, OK? Saying it saved us 543. That's debatable. Let's do another one. Projects. Let's do a new project. And we're going to call this one um, business tips, business writing. So let's call it affiliate marketing dude. OK? And we're going to go through. We'll do this affiliate marketing. Dude.com. Did I spell that right? Affil I ate marketing dude. Let me double check. Yep, looks like I spelled it right. All right. And we'll go through uh, what's this website about? Affiliate marketing and monthly posts. Let's do, we'll do like 20 monthly posts or something. Who reads your blog? Uh, people who want to make money. Uh, Mr. T, did we get it? Affiliate, affiliate marketing dude. No, we got it. We're good. All right, affiliate marketing dude. Okay, cool. Uh, language, tone of voice. Let's do casual. We're, we're, we're chill. All right, 3,000 plus words. Create project. Okay, so what we're going to do, enter target keyword. Uh, let's do Google alerts. Right like that. Talk about, and keep this small. We don't want too many keywords per article. That's a mistake that a lot of people make. Um, you want to keep it very, very specific. Please find, or let's just do find 25 ways people can use Google Alerts businesses with descriptions and examples. Here we go. Create content. I think we're good. OK. Add content. Did we, did we add it? Keyword has been added. OK, so I think, it's, I think it's going for it. Let's see how this one's still waiting. Jasper did OK. So it did follow the directions there. Monitor your brand. OK, let's see if this passes the test. You guys digging this? We'll go to Grammarly. 100% original, 15% plagiarism. OK, interesting, 15%. And it's all from one source. That's bad. We don't like that. That's about as bad as me being out of frame there. All right, so we'll do that. Let's do the AI test, 65. Eh, that's OK. So there we got that. We got this one here we're working on and waiting. Surfer SEO. Let's. You want to try him for this one? Let's do Google Alerts, keyword research, business strong. I didn't realize there wasn't boot camp. Yes, boot camp is for next week. Okay, so we'll go here like this. Okay, and check out helpfulaicontent.com up there. That's where you can get the notes. We're going to dive into these all weekend, and we are going to get you notes on what I would use and why. And I think this is going over some of that pretty good, so smash the like button if you're digging this. And so we got Google Alerts here. Let's see if the other ones are getting any headway. Jasper AI. And then again, you know what, guys? If you have no money to buy any tools, just use the Bing to help you, right? We could go through and do what are 25 ways to use uh, Google Alerts for business. 
Okay, and we can utilize this and be like, okay, this is looking pretty good. We can make this work. This is something uh, we can do. Okay, so we could strip these out, expand on them, and there we go. Now, this is going to bring them from, oh, wow. Yeah, okay, a lot of duplicate stuff. So this is going to get them from other sites. So my guess is the plagiarism on this is going to be off the chart. So let's do this. Plagiarism. Uh -huh. Look at that. Plagiarism is literally off the chart. 10%. Uh, it's, it's on the chart, but almost off the chart. It's like teetering uh, away from that. A Google algorithm is going to track AI better over time. Yes, it will. And it's Google came out and they said, hey, we don't mind AI as long as it's helpful and it's for humans, right? Like we don't want junk, but we don't mind AI. So Jasper, eh, I would say maybe a, a four out of 10, okay? Could I tweak it? Could I just have Jasper and tweak it and make it work? Sure, of course, that's where the prompts are coming in. Um, let's see how this one went, still working on it. Content at scale, almost done, 60% done, okay? And then what we're gonna do also is, you guys are gonna watch, I'm gonna put these on sites, and we're gonna show you how they rank. So like, there you go, there's the business, and yet I gotta buy anything, you can just watch this stuff. Now, I will say, if you wanna learn more and work with me personally, you wanna be on the helpfulaicontent.com webinar. Um, you can go there, you can get your notes, and there's a link. I think if you go to, let's see, helpful AI content, it's gonna look like this. If you want the notes, just click this. This is for Saturday's webinar, it's 27 bucks. You get the recording, you get all kinds of tools, stuff like that. I think it's well worth it. Just fill that out and you'll be good to go. Um, for the notes, and then there's some links here, stuff like that as well. So helpfulaicontent.com, check it out. So we got this one here still going. Okay, still going here. Let's try another one. And again, this is us testing this against, I spent the money here. Like I, I paid someone $75 just to write that article. And you can see these are the kind of things. Now, what you're gonna learn is that going through and spending over $100,000 on content for myself, for other websites, for clients, you learn how to prompt based on the article title, right? The article title says everything about what you're gonna get. And when you're doing this with AI, this is super important, right? So we have to go through and say, hey, what are we gonna do? And look at my description here, right? This is what I wanted. So let, let's see if ChatGPT can do this. I want, so let's see if it'll do this here. I want an article, and I think I paid. Okay, this one was 75 too. So 75 bucks, I want an article, do, 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 there's how I want it. Top keywords, cool. So let's see if this will do anything. Okay. Uh, that's pretty badass. I ain't gonna lie. That's pretty cool, right? Do you see how the prompt made all the difference there? Like that, it just did exactly what I wanted. PR web, newswire, that's pretty cool. And this, this could be used. Let's see if this passes the test. So we'll do plagiarism. Right, like this, 3%, looking good. Let's do this. We have to get it down to the amount here. There we go, 21%. Okay, so let's try another one. Where do we go? We got this here. Let's go to Now rewrite in a friendly tone. 
maybe that'll help it pass the test. Okay, so that's looking okay. No, I actually did worse. Okay, so apparently the friendly AI sounds too much like a robot. I don't know. Um, but that's what we're looking at there. So let's take a look how we're doing. We had um, AI writer over here. I got a lot of tabs open here. Let's see, more tabs. More tabs, where'd we go? That, this one. Okay, so we had content at scale. And we're going here. You could say, yeah, that's a good one. In simple terms, that could be a good way to go. So we're waiting on that one. And this one looks like it's done. Ways to use Google Alerts for business. OK, so it gives us some hashtags. Ways to use Google Alerts for your business. Google Alerts, several different things. So source text, you can enter these to get good results. Cited sources. OK, so here's what we got, several different capacities. OK, so let's take this. Let's do plagiarism checker. And this is from AI Writer, or 100% original. OK, I'll take it. Let's see if it flags as a robot. Who knows what show that's from? The robots. It was from a TV show. If you know, you know. All right, so let's see if it detects if it's a robot. It does not. OK, so AI Writer, again, is, is coming in hot. It's going for it. Have you tried telling it to write in simple terms? I, I have not yet, but we can try to do that um, and go from there. OK, let's see what else we got. That's looking good. And content at scale, pending optimization, getting there. And if you guys have questions, we are getting to the point where the last hour of this training, we are on, what are we on? Two hours and 41 minutes so far. The last hour is going to be 100% um, Q&A. So we're going to get Q&A. We're going to talk about these. You can ask me to try different things in these. You can ask me about prices. You can ask me what I use. We can look at some more examples. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all about you. I want to give you guys good info so that you could use AI to get some rankings, build some content, and make some money. We got some money here. Ha, 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 ha. That's always fun, but it's not fun to clean up. So yeah, now, smash a like button for the uh, money cleaner people. There you go. Not to be confused with the other money cleaners. All right, so there we have that. We're looking pretty good. I like, I'm digging AI Writer. Um, again, so for the price of AI Writer, we're looking at 59 a month. And I think, so 59, so 20 bucks a month gives you 40 articles. For most people, that's probably going to be pretty good. Um, standard, 59. Not bad. So, I mean, this is something where, like, for the price of a fast food meal, you could get some good content. You know, not, not bad. Like, this is, so if I got 40 articles here and these are passing the test, literally 40 articles at 75 bucks a pop, I mean, you do the math. I don't know. Let's see, where's our calculator? Calculator. We'll do the math here. So, 40 articles times 75 bucks, that would be three grand. Is it going to be as good? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I get 20, still, you know, 1500 bucks for 30 bucks. That's not bad. Um, and they are passing the tests. Again, it's new. We don't know if AI is going to pass all the tests yet, but this is looking good. Now, uh, content at scale, which so far for the price, well, I'm not going to say for the price, but so far it is the best. Uh, it is expensive. It's good, though. Let's, let's take a look at how this came out. 
So leverage Google Alerts for affiliate marketing success. OK, so it took the liberty of talking about affiliate marketing. Interesting. I didn't do that, but it did that based on the site. I like that. I do like that, because now it's going to keep me on point. So it'll take my keyword, spin it to affiliate. Yay, wonderful, great. All right, Google Alerts is robust, adoptable. We'll dive into table of contents. OK, so now eventually this layout might get AI flagged. I don't know. Maybe not, because I do see this everywhere else too. Brand monitoring. This, this is a very good article. Is it what I wanted with higher writers? No, because here I was looking for a list. But is it good? Yes, I would have no problem putting this on my website. It talks about ClickBank. I mean, this. let's, let's take a look at this snippet. And the reason I'm using this snippet is because somehow the AI knew what a ClickBank was. Where did it get that? That's my question. OK, so let's, let's see. Human generated. OK, so apparently the robot, the robots are human, apparently. When that happens, I think the only person alive that's going to be happy about that is going to be Elon Musk. But he's a little creepy anyway, so he can have his robots. But at any rate, that was a joke. Sit down, calm down. We're all friends here. All right, to remain ahead of competition. So no plagiarism. That is impressive to me. Right, that looks pretty good. Uh, let's try a little bit bigger snippet, generating content ideas based on user search term. That's weird. Why did it make that like that? Why is it doing that? That gives me a flag that something in the AI is pulling that from one website, and it doesn't know why. Let's, uh, I'm going to do this off screen, because I don't know what that's going to search up. I'm going to search for that. OK, so it is a guide, web usability from the user perspective. OK, so it, it does look safe to show. And then if I do like interesting, if I did something like, uh, let's see, ClickBank. So product launches software, I'm guessing it pulled it from here. Do you guys get why I thought that way? Joseph, Marcus, regardless of the AI tool we use, is it correct to say that we should be reviewing and tweaking all AI-generated articles? Yes, absolutely. Those are thumbs up there. Yes. <laughs> all right, so um, I think that's where it pulled that from. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. Interesting, because that's going to give us insight into where this is pulling from and whether it's good, because if it's pulling from a certain data set or online, that's going to be, it's going to determine what we're doing, right? It's going to determine how good the content's going to be. So very, very important there. Uh, let's see here. How did our other one fare? So that one's looking really good. This one's looking good. Um, Surfer, did Surfer write us one about Google Alerts yet? Let's see here. So it's got our keywords. Create content editor. And we wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And keep waiting. Apparently. The robots are being slow. Content editor is almost ready. OK, so we got that there. Uh, what were the other ones we're going to test shortly? OK, so this was contentbot.ai. Let's give it the same command. We were on this here. OK, so ways to use Google Alerts for business. OK, so let's do a new one. Home keyword research content editor. OK, Google Alerts. Create content editor. 
No, where we go? There we go. Ha, ah, we're back. Okay, so we'll wait for this here. And it looks like some of these you can burn through quite a bit of stuff pretty quickly. Google Alerts, and get your questions ready in just a little bit. We are going to do Q&A, okay? And you're going to ask anything you want about the old AI content. Okay. There we go. Now we're ready. What? How do we get there? No, that, no, we're not ready. I got a little excited. We'll click this one. There we go. All right. 25 ways to use Google Alerts for your business. Confirm by pressing the tab key. Where's the tab? There's a tab. The tab did nothing. Let's hit enter. And let's write this. Enter. Uh, no. How do we generate? I forgot how to do this. There was something here that made it make content. Content score. Oh, this was the weird one. That's right. Um, so titles. How to set up Google Alerts. No, we don't want that. Headings. Get alerts. No, this is kind of not, what can you use Google Alerts for? Okay. And let's see, start writing or type a slash. No, okay. Uh, they include, well, what do they include? What, what are they gonna include? Let's see, section. Okay, apparently it ain't gonna include nothing. Uh, let's see, a paragraph, add the paragraph. Let's add another paragraph. No, same paragraph. Just, just keep repeating it. Okay. It does, it does have a learning curve. Let's see. Maybe we'll go to the brief. There are no notes. Okay. Guidelines, words, headings. Okay. So this one, I, I think it might be kind of stumped on it. Outline, headings, questions. What do Google Alerts tell you? Okay, brief. Okay, so yeah, it's not really doing much here. Maybe it stumped it. I don't know. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't really tell me much of this. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Insert outline, add an image, outline. Let's see if it does an outline. More waiting. Okay, get alerts. Okay, slash, um, create a block quote. Targeted bullet list. Okay, so bullet list could probably work for like a sales letter. Take article from your other AI and add to surfer. We could do that. Um, that kind of does defeat the purpose, but you know, hey, whatever. Instruct bot. Let's try. Did we do one in Instruct bot? 25 ways to use Google Alerts for your business. 25 ways to use Google Alerts. Let's do long instruct. And more waiting. Maybe I should sing a song. I don't know. All right. So let's see here. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, yeah. And while we're waiting, check out helpfulaicontent.com. OK. Stay in forums, reviews, track your brand. OK, so pretty standard stuff. Let's see if it passes plagiarize. Yep. Okay, let's try this here. Trim it up a bit. Analyze. Not bad. So that one was okay. What was that one? That was content bot AI is okay. Let's try this one. This was a little interesting. I think all in all, the tools are definitely useful. 
I think it's just a matter of what you want to use and what human input you're willing uh, to do. So I'm writing an article. OK, start writing. Write for me. All right. Imagine you put a request for quotes on your new promotional product. Google alert. Right, that's it. Yeah, give me, give me a little bit more. You got to give me a little bit more than that there, buddy. The robots here are, wow, I really hope you enjoy this post. Quick look up. OK, now it's getting into some more stuff. Let's see if it gives us a number two. OK. Press releases. OK, so it's all right. I mean, this is a good one if you don't mind compiling and adding with it shortly. This is uh, 79 a month. OK. So far, my favorites are content at scale by a long shot. Surfer SEO is OK. I think for, for keyword stuff, that's good. Copy AI is, is holding up. Like, that's holding up the mustard there. I think that was the one that gave us pretty good stuff. Um, AI Writer was looking pretty good. I think AI Writer was my second favorite. Let's see, do I have it open here? AI Writer. I believe I did. Yeah, AI Writer was pretty solid. Yes. So like this one here, starting at $29 a month, I, I, I got to do some more testing, but it looked pretty solid. Talking about people there. It's not really giving me the list, but I think with some correct prompting, I could probably get that there. It does have a rewording, an SEO editor, subtopic discoverer. Um, so let's see, Google Alerts. We can kind of see what's going on there. Um, and it'll do subtopics. But it's looking pretty good. So far, I think for the, for the money, that's, that's pretty good. All right, so we are going to get into our Q&A section in just a minute. Uh, how many of you guys have been here the whole time? Right, how many of you, did anyone who started out, you're still here? Well, let me know. I think that's pretty cool. But I'll be back in uh, about two minutes. We'll do Q&A. So get your questions ready. Think about your questions. We're going to answer them. Let's see how this does real quick, and then we'll go to our break. To get your questions ready, uh, it's OK. I mean, eh, not too impressed, but it's getting there. For the price, I don't think that's too bad. All right, so get your questions ready. HelpfulAIContent.com. I'll be right back with you. Oh, hi there. Don't worry. Marcus will be right back in just a few minutes. If you want to get a Lamborghini full of cash like me, make sure you pay attention to this important announcement. <laughs> All right, guys, a couple of cool things that you're going to want to pay attention to. Number one, over at HelpfulAIContent.com, I have some really cool stuff that you're going to want to check out. Number one, we have notes from the video webinar you're watching right now. So once you go to helpfulaicontent.com, you can click here to download the notes. All you gotta do is put your name and email in and we will send those notes to you right away once they are completed. I actually have a full team standing by making notes of this live stream right now as you're watching it. Number two, and probably the most important part, on Saturday, April 8th, I am going to be having a special webinar about how I use AI tools to make helpful content that actually ranks in the search engines, helps people out, and provides a good user experience so that you can make money. If you're interested in joining that full out training, check out the link right here on helpfulaicontent.com. You can go right here and sign up for that webinar. Full training, you'll get the recordings, the notes, and everything for just a one-time deal of $27. Yep, that's right. We're gonna show you everything about AI content, including how to use it for SEO, how to create product, creating AI lead magnets, getting traffic, creating content, and more. So if you wanna see me take a deep dive into the SUV site we talked about, you're definitely gonna to wanna to be on Saturday's webinar. And last but not least, I have compiled a list of all the links and all the tools that I've been testing in this live stream so that you can check them out. Yes, they are affiliate links, so I'll get paid a little bit if you sign up. 
So if you appreciate the time and effort we put into these live streams, go on over to HelpfulAIContent.com and check out the cool stuff we have waiting for you. Whoa, that's some cool stuff you got there over at HelpfulAIContent.com. But, Marcus, hey. Marcus, where are you? Come on, hurry up, these people are waiting. Marcus, come on. All right, now back to our show. <laughs> All right, we are back and ready to rock. Let's take your questions and go from there and see what we got all right where'd our q a go okay uh let's see here bob said great deal for the uh 27 dollar class on saturday yes i think you guys are gonna love that okay i hate that i have to bounce that's not a question uh, i didn't know you were doing this today okay okay so glad that i've been here great stuff all right thanks all right, so let's take some questions and get rocking and rolling there. Uh, Mark says, so if you're just starting on your affiliate journey, and let's put this over here. There we go. Now I can read them. Uh, and so if you're just starting on your affiliate journey and want to grow full time into a business, starting with a budget of 150 for these tools, what would your choices be? Uh, Mark, so what I would say do is you're going to need a strategy and with that strategy, I would say invest in some kind of learning, whether it's maybe you're doing YouTube videos free, whatever. Um, maybe you're going to do Blog Profit Network. Our Blog Profit Network course is like $37 a month. It's dirt cheap. Get some foundation. And then what I would do is if it was me, whatever tool you liked best today, um, I would get that, and if you're in a $150 a month budget, I would say, if it was me, I'd probably get something like AI Writer, which is 29 or 59, and then get Blog Profit Network, and show up every week. A lot of people don't know, but Blog Profit Network is a course that we have, where every Tuesday, we go on a live stream, or a live uh, a webinar, it's by Zoom, and you can ask whatever you want. So like, let's say you signed up for AI Writer, and you're like, Marcus, I need to know what to do. You show up and you're like, hey, uh, help me find a niche. I'll help you find a niche. And the next week you're like, well, hey, help me with content. I'll help you with content. And we can run it through some of the tools I have live on the call. A lot of people don't know that, but Blog Profit Network is great for that. You'll learn more about that on helpfulaicontent.com uh, as well. But you're going to see how that works. So that's what I would do. Uh, does your spokes animal know Baby Yoda? I don't know. You'd have to ask him. He only talks during the commercial breaks. So I don't know. The rest of the time, he's just kind of sitting over there doing his thing. There he is there driving his Lambo. He is a guru. We should just name him Guru. Um, so there you go. But uh, cool stuff. All right. So next question here. How can I be a niche expert? How important is it? Well, um, being a niche expert, what I would recommend do is start at the keyword level and find something. Like, notice how I'm going for the SUV one, right? So for the SUV, uh, what was it, newsuv.org, okay? What I'm doing is I'm utilizing a site that already ranked for SEO, or for uh, new, for SUV stuff, um, it already has keywords. Now, I'm not an expert on SUVs, uh, but I, I can be one using uh, AI and using my own search results and, and, and my own research and stuff like that. Uh, Andy says, Blog Profit Network is definitely worth getting. I, I agree. Uh, but right now, get the, get the AI class. If you guys like that, I think you'll, you'll get a, a very nice awakening to real stuff there. Okay, can you generate product review articles with any of these tools? Excellent question. All right, let's, let's talk about this. This is probably my favorite question of the day. 
um, and let's hammer this out because this is important. Can you do review articles? OK, so Google has stated emphatically, even before AI, that reviews are weighted by people ha who have reviewed the product, by people who have actually tangibly used the product. So if I have a product around here, let's say I got, uh, I don't know, something. Let me go get a product that we can use this for. OK, so let's say I have this product here which is a wireless HDMI thing. I could put one on the camera. I could take the camera around, and it'll wirelessly transmit. Really fun for live streams, although you got to keep the battery charged, which I always forget to do, and you have to have someone to walk around with the camera. If I was to utilize this product, AI can go through, and it's going to give me the specs, and it's going to give me an overview of the reviews, and it's going to talk about the different things. But at the end of the day, AI has not physically actually use the product, which means it will get flagged. Now, there is a debate. How do the search engines know? Well, you know, I think they have a good idea of who has used the product and who hasn't based on the way the review is, because you're going to have to compile from other sources if you're using AI. It, it, it isn't going to be able to use it in a real world way. Now, with that said, can you use AI to review a product like this? Well, let's take a look. Let's see how good it does, because this is a product that I have actually reviewed and used. OK, so let's go through and let's do Keyword Explorer. If you guys dig this, smash the Like button. We're getting into some stuff that you can actually use. All right, Holly Land, I think it Holly Land uh, HD. Uh, HDMI. OK, let's see. I think it's something Hollyland 400, Mars 400. OK, so it's the Mars 400, Mars 400. OK, we're trying to get that number higher. So Hollyland Mars 400S Pro. OK, so let's look this up right like this. OK. Hollyland, so we got Hollyland Tech, we got Amazon, Hollyland Tech, we got videos. Okay, videos are predominantly going to own this ranking. It's going to own it, done deal, case in point. Now, I want to look at these and see if they actually get that many the uh, views. 241, not that much, so that's pretty low. Um, let's try another one. Maybe this guy, he's been around a while. Uh, 5,000 views, yeah, that's OK. I mean, it's a specific product, so yeah, that's about right. Like you're looking at this, 300 times that by 12 months, you're at 3,600, that's about right. OK, so let's take a look at this, and let's go to an AI generator. So we'll go to this one. I, I, I did like this one. So AI Writer, write a full review on Hollyland Mars 400 Pro. Let's see how it does. Let's also do ChatGPT, and let's see if we will know. Like I, I know the product, so I'll know if it is created that way. OK, here we go. It might even say, hey, I can't do that. Of this, OK? OK. Here's a review of the Hollyland. Hollyland Mars is a wireless. OK, so it tells us about it. Specs, OK. Now, ChatGPT4 is not fully online yet, um, so it's going to be a little different. Let's put this in a tool, Grammarly. Hundred percent plagiarism on this phrase. Three percent 
So not too bad there. What this is going to be is it's going to be a skimpy review because they didn't try it. So it does not flag that. Now let's actually read it and see if it's helpful. So here I am. I want to buy this thing. This thing here looks like a robot antenna. OK, and let's see. OK, so the Hollyland Mars is a pro wireless video transmission, high quality footage of the standout features. So it's just telling me about the product. Also a range of advanced overall. No. So do you guys see how this is not a product review? This is a product overview, not a review. A review would be when we tried this outside, it only went 300 feet. Now, if you want to get those, I would not do this. But if you wanted to get those, you could go to uh, Jasper or something that's online. That little button gets you online. And you can do write a review of the Hollyland, what is it called? Uh, Mars 400. Mars 400 and include details from Amazon reviews. Maybe it'll do that. We'll see if it can. Um, I, again, wouldn't do it. Like What I would do if I were you and I want to do reviews, use stuff you have. right? Do software, tools, things you could get access to. Uh, this is called user-generated content. Um, so this one here. I recently purchased Hollyland, so glad I did. It was wireless video transmission, blah, 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 blah. OK, so this just literally copy and pasted Amazon reviews. So let's see. OK, did it make that up? That's, that's unethical, in my opinion. Like AI did not try this, so it does not know. Um, yeah, so that's a, on a forum. Shows you where it pulled them from. Interesting that it like logged in. It's a little creepy, but I, I don't know what that is. But at any rate, um, you know, I don't know. But again, is that good? No, I don't think so. They could just go to Amazon. Now you could do like an Amazon review overview. Again, you know, when push comes to shove, it's not going to be valuable content. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. So we answered the, the review one. Let's see how that review came out from this one here. OK, so this was AI Writer. Let's download. Full review article discusses do, 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 transmitter. So again, it's more of an overview. Low motion scene. So it is a good article. Like, could it work? Yeah. I mean, technically. Now, if you're going for words like reviews, you know, I mean, like for that keyword that we went for, what was it? The Hollyland Mars. Okay, that keyword specifically doesn't need to be a review. That says no one's asking for a review. They're asking for overviews and prices. That's, they want, they want to buy it. So we wouldn't necessarily need to. So that content might work for that. OK? Uh, let's see. Bob, Blog Profit Network is awesome. Give it a try. All right, thanks for that. How do the pay content sites charge on entering a prompt or once you accept a final output? On, so you pay, like hire writers or iWriter, you pay when you submit the job, but that payment is not final until you accept the article. I hope that answered it. OK, Blog Profit Network is our blog support forum where you can access weekly calls. All right, thanks for that, uh, Lauren. Uh, should you sign up for sites like ClickBank when you're just starting your website, or should you wait to, to get traffic? ClickBank should take you right away. I don't think you're going to have a problem with that. Will Saturday webinar be recorded? Of course, we record everything. Does Ahrefs charge a fee? Yes, I think it's about ninety-nine dollars a month. And then if you don't, if you want to get by with free stuff, ChatGPT, and you can use the Hoth keyword tool 
or Ahrefs free keyword tool. Just takes a little extra step, but it's free. Okay. Let's see here. John, what are you asking, John? And I said I, I YouTube ads or something. <laughs> Okay, is there an AI tool, maybe Google's Bard, that can find some useful low KD keywords in a niche? So yes and no. Um, I think the winner for SEO research today is Surfer SEO. Like that, that will show you. Is it gonna give us the KD? Yeah, it does. Let's see if it's the same. So let's get this list. SUV large shows a KD of 10. Let's put that in here. 16, it's close. So yes, I, I would say surfer, if you're into keyword research, that's probably the, the, the one for you. Uh, Mark, when you're looking at domain auctions, can you tell if a site has previously been blacklisted but still ranks for keywords? If it's been blacklisted, then it probably won't rank. What I usually do is I will do site, I'll do a Google search, site colon, and then the name, right? Very simple, site colon and then the name should get you uh, rocking and rolling with that there, okay? Let's see what else we got here. The AI looks like it would be beneficial as a portion of a review and generate, it, 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 it's supposed to help us with content. Like I'm not gonna go out there and just put AI content. I'm gonna have it, you know, stack on top of each other. Max, which top three AI tool has the least plagiarism? Based on this training, go back, watch the whole thing. But based on this training, I'm seeing um, AI writer and uh, content at scale. Those so far have been the best ones. Dave, I just want to build to make 100 a day and build from there. What kind of time frame are we talking if you put in four hours a day nonstop? Well, four hours a day is not nonstop. That's four hours a day. There is a stop in there. Second, if your only goal is to make 100 a day, you need to pick a direction, right? Like right now, your direction is like, how do I find $100 a day? but you need, to, you need to refine, right? When I'm looking at stuff like my S, uh, SUV website, okay, I have to ask myself, with my SUV website, what am I going to do, okay? Now, this is something you are gonna learn on Saturday's webinar, super important, right? When we look at newsuv.org, here's what I'm asking myself, all right? We got traffic, so this site right now has traffic, it's got keywords, it's looking pretty good. It only cost me $700 or $800 for the domain. Now, I find domains like this all the time and they are uh, less expensive. You can get them for 40 bucks, 10 bucks, whatever. Usually a couple hundred bucks will get you a solid expired or auction domain name with rankings, right? And let's see if that one's still going. Yep, looks like it ended. So that thing ended, we'll know tomorrow how it did, but uh, it did end. And we'll take a look at that. But what we're looking at is what are these keywords worth? Okay, so again, when I'm looking at this, this is super important that you focus on exactly what it is you want. So if I want to take newsuv.org, and you guys are going to watch. If you're new to this channel, uh, we're going to do this live. Okay, I'm gonna build this site up and I'm gonna sell it just like I do with thousands of other websites all the time. Okay, I've been doing this since, I think the first domain I bought with the intent of selling it was probably 2001. Might have been 2003, but I think it was 01. All right, newseo.org, this is gonna be a site. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, fast SUVs under 40K. I got SUV for women. I got worst SUVs. SUVs with the best disability. I think I'm gonna need to get another table. Hold on one second. Let's get this show on the road here. Let's make this stuff legit. All right. This will help us out. I don't have any of my helpers today, but we will make do as we always have. All right, so 
There we go. Now we are ready to rock and roll. OK, so newsuv.org. Here it is. $741. I bought it at auction. OK, now let's take a look at what we're going to do. So we have all these keywords, all these rankings. OK, ah, this is nice. So all these keywords, all these rankings. There we are. All those keywords over there with the rankings. So what we're going to do is we are going to take these and we are going to build them up. Now, what I need to look at is the fact that SUV keywords are probably in the dollar to $9 range. All right, SUVs, SUV loans, new SUVs. These people are paying lots of money, OK? So I can do AdSense. I can do uh, affiliate offers for like car loans, trade-ins, credit check, all this stuff. So if I do this right, there we go. If I do this right, what we are going to see is I can build this up. So if I was able to build this up to, let's say, 10,000 visitors a month, OK? And he wants to make $100 a day. So what I would need to do is I would need to take a look at what I have, OK? I'm going to take a look and I'm going to say, what are the keywords? What are they worth? OK, now if I could average. $30 or 30 cents a click on this site, which in this market, I don't think that's going to be too difficult to do. OK? Then I can make $100 a day. OK? What would I need to do to get 10,000 visitors a month? Well, if I want to get 10,000 visitors a month, I'm going to look at that keyword list and I'm going to go through and start to understand exactly, OK, I got uh, the best SUVs under 40K. I got this. I got that. And then I could start to go through and say, what keywords did I have that had more traffic? So I'll go volume, right, like this. And if you can't afford to get a domain that had rankings, you just start from square one with SUV keywords or whatever niche you're in. Right? And then I'm going to build this up and grow. I'm going to look at affiliate offers. I'm going to look at things I can use. And boom, there we go. Okay? You've got to be structured. You can't just wake up and be like, I just want 100 bucks a day. Okay, well, I mean, what are you going to do to get it? Right? Review software, review SUVs, create content. Can you do it with, S uh, with AI? I, I think absolutely, emphatically, yes, you can. But again, you have to look at the strategy. Like for me, if I want to do this quick, I'm going to hit this. OK? Then I'm going to think different. Subaru Ascent versus. I'm going to go open up another keyword tool. And I'm going to get these. There you go. Now we're talking. Do you guys get this? Are you getting an aha moment where it's like, oh, now I see there's thousands of visitors a month using this example. Now I see, yeah, I could take an SUV overview site and I could build it up into a powerhouse and probably make $1,000 a day if I wanted. Again, very important to realize the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. The average person makes nothing. Remember, this is a business. You've got to take it seriously and do the stuff that gets the money. Super important. All right, but now we're like, OK, if, if I did this, could I get someone to do an insurance quote? Right? Like if I go over here to OfferVault or whatever affiliate program I want, let me see if I could load this here. So let's say we go to OfferVault. Uh, come on now. OfferVault, let's do um, insurance. OK, if we do insurance. We're going to see call, uh, car insurance, auto insurance, $45. Two leads a day, there's $90 a day. Let's say you do um, auto loan. Auto loan, $35, right? Three of those a day. Um, SUV, maybe there's something for SUV or whatever it is. You can start to, to make money with these, but again, you have to focus. OK, should I look for traffic volume? to volume ratio. I look at traffic volume. 
Does metadata play a huge part in SEO? Not so much. It used to, but not so much anymore. Um, for SEO, how much out of 100 AI, how much percentage should we much score? Uh, try to be as close to human generated as possible. You want this number as high as possible. OK. If you buy an expired domain, can I put it on my host site? Yes. One web host can have lots of sites on it. Camtasia is a great video editor. I agree. What do you think about food blogs? I think food blogs are good, but the traffic is going to have to be really, really high to make money. All right. Any other questions, let me know. And we'll take it from there. I think so far it's been a pretty good hangout thing, right? We've had fun here. Can you use AI for email marketing? You can use AI to write your emails, but it's not going to like set the whole thing up for you. But yeah, you could use it like I could go through and say, you know, write me 10 emails, write me an email about a funny or about a blog post that helps you save money on your taxes. Right, it'll write that. And then you just put the call to actions in there. I don't care what niche we pick, and I like the 1,000 a day more than 100 a day. Well, of course you do. Who wouldn't? Um, but you should care what niche you pick, because it should fit what you want to do. Right? Like, you got you to gotta focus. You got to get out of the mindset of what you want, and you got to focus on what other people want that's going to help you get it. It's like Jim Rohn always said, you can have anything in life you want if you help enough other people get what they want. If you help enough other people get the right SUV, you can have an SUV, right? If you help enough other people get a house, you can probably get a house. If you help people, that's what the key is. Get your mind off of what you want and get your mind on what people want based on what they're searching. Focus on good stuff. Focus on helping people. Focus on traffic. Now, that's not to say it can't be something simple. You could go out there and make something simple and make $5,000 a day. I've done it. Again, results not typical, implied, or guaranteed. It takes a lot of work to do that. But you know, you got to focus on where are people searching, what are they doing, how do I put something in front of them. Uh, what's the difference between Saturday's webinar and the helpful content? Uh, the helpful content is a so the helpful content is Saturday's webinar. The 247 one is a different program, which we'll talk about later. I uh, love that you're here to answer these. Thank you. Will Google shadow ban sites using AI content? Right now, as of recording this, they have said that they do not mind AI content. Now, will that change when a bazillion people make AI content? Probably. But we're going to be different, and we are going to create good content. That's the key, good content. That's all they care about. Are people reading it? Do they like it? Did I already discuss AI-generated software extensions? Love your idea about the Linktree alternative. Uh, this, this training, we're not talking about that. This is more about content rather than uh, software. All right. OK. Uh, yeah, the, the Saturday webinar is 27 bucks, and you'll get a recording and everything. Uh, that is available at helpfulaicontent.com. If you go there, the page will look like this. If you want notes from this training along with the um, links and everything, just fill out this. If you want Saturday's webinar, click this and sign up. It'll take you to a little page. It's 27 bucks. You get the recording. Um, I think you're going to love it. My webinars I do that are really cheap, people are like, oh my gosh, I've paid $500 for less content than that. Um, so we're going to help you with that and, and help you understand everything about AI content and how to build it and how to grow it. OK. I don't understand how you can make money on SUV or real estate. Like, What are you giving them? So what we're doing is we're doing affiliate offers and paid ads. If you were to go over to SpyFu right here, OK, SUV prices. OK, you search for this in Google, SUV prices. What you're going to notice is that these up here are sponsored ads. Okay, there's also going to be sponsored ads down here at the bottom. 
Now, there's something very interesting on this page. If you were to look here at iResults.com, that is a search engine. So they're paying for ads to get you to go to other ads, which means there's money in this market. What is happening here is these ads and advertisers are going through and they're paying per click. So if I go here and I click on this, they're paying money for each click. Now, as publishers, we can get a piece of that through different paid search platforms. Now, this is saying that on average for this keyword, SUV prices, it's got $5 a click on average. If you do uh, SUV ratings, okay, it might time out on me. There you go. SUV ratings, $1.36 a click. If you do something like mortgage or SUV insurance, there now you're $7 a click. If we do uh, car insurance, watch what happens here. So these advertisers are paying money. So if I can create good content, get it in front of them, I can get a piece of that, whoa, $23 a click. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's why it works. Why, why would that guy pay that much money? Well, because like how many times have we seen Flo on TV tell us we need insurance? Or how many times has that damn gecko told me that I need Geico? A bazillion. They pay millions of dollars. And guess what? They're paying millions of dollars for people watching the Super Bowl who might not want car insurance. I'm getting them someone who's typing in car insurance or SUV. And when we start to understand, oh, that's why Google makes hundreds of billions of dollars a year, then you start to get it. Very, very, very important. Okay, uh, let's see. Do you think you'd make money faster with Google AdSense by writing articles for blogs or AI-generated YouTube videos? I think it depends on what you're doing, right? Like, I mean, that, you need to find your niche, right? Like, do, should I just make videos or AI? Like, what you're asking in a roundabout way is how can I buck the system and make a dollar? That's what you're asking. You're on the wrong channel for that. That's not what we're about. We want to create good content. We don't want to shortcut it. And if you do it on a blog, it could be fast. If you do it on a YouTube, it could be fast. But make good content. We need to get away from, I just want money, I just want money, I just want money, which is fine. I mean, that's cool. Everyone needs money. But figure out how you're going to get it, right? Stop focusing on you. Focus on good content. The money will come. It's not hard to do. Like, literally, I can make a, an article about the, the SUV safety ratings. I can put an ad up, and I, I can get results by the end of the day. There you go. Uh, what are the top five AI video editing tools? I don't know of a bunch of them, because what I use is I use AI for the content, and then I make the video myself. OK, keep in mind, depending on your SEO, the blog articles can take months to generate a few bucks. Not necessarily. I get rankings right away. Right? You just, you, you've got to focus. You need to know your niche because your niche is going to answer a lot of questions. OK. What about using AI to gather info for you to then put into your own words? I think that's a great plan. Um, I was late to this. will be sent to us. So I could, it, you just refresh this when we're done, and it'll, you'll be able to watch it again. Does Saturday's webinar help us? Does Saturday's webinar teach us how to use prompts for AI? Yes, it does. How would you use AI to build an email list? I would use AI to create a giveaway, and then I give something away in exchange for their name and email. Like, hey, here's the top, you know, 100 SUV reports or whatever. Put your name and email, and then I would do it that way. Much like how I'm doing here, where I'm like, hey, go over to helpful AI content and get the notes from this video. So the notes could be something that you created with AI. All right. But yeah, I think if you stop focusing on the quick, shortcut, easy way, you'll find that the hard way isn't that hard. Right? It's, it's, it's really not. I've done both. But if you focus and you look at something, because what I do is I look at everything direct. Right? Like I'm going to look at every keyword I rank for and, and build it and say, how do I make the most on that keyword? 
right? How can I make the most on Subaru versus Telluride? That dude is going to buy a $50,000 car. 450 of these people are going to buy that one of those cars. Doesn't matter which one I sell, right? And you're going to start to understand, oh, I get it. Yeah, that's people. I'm already number 37. If I get good content, get a good offer, I could boost that up. I can make money. That theoretically could be a thousand dollar a month blog post right there. That could be it. And this one, best small luxury. That could be if I was to boost it up to a top five. That could be a couple thousand dollar a month blog post. And when you start to understand, wait a minute. Now I'm getting it. Each one is its own thing. Instead of the whole throw everything at the wall, I'm going for boom. There it is. How would you, oh wait, let's see. Is it better to put the keyword information content on the website before building it out? An off-site marketing campaign. What do you mean? Like, are you doing off-site marketing? Like, put the content up when the content's ready. That, that's what I would do. I, I think that answered it. Uh, what should be the best ratio of commercial posts to avoid Google's penalization? There really isn't one for commercial posts, but like do it within the content. So if I'm talking about an SUV, that could be an info post, but I could also say to save money on an SUV, click here. Will Google ban you if you do certain things? Well, yeah, there are certain things they don't like. Um, they don't like insurance, mortgage. Those are okay. And again, think info related. Don't think like trying to be the insurance guru, right? Maybe you can help them with something. And again, look at what ranks, right? Go to Google, look at what ranks. That's what they like. Very simple. It's like ChatGPT, but it's online talking about Bing. Yeah, Bing is good. Um, it's not deliverable content, but it'll do a lot of research for you very quickly. Like what this is going to do is it's going to look at 100 different websites for you in the blink of an eye. All right, any other questions? We got uh, 10 or 15 minutes left on the four hour live stream. All right, there you go. That was the example of uh, Bing slash uh, Edge. And if you guys have been digging this, smash that like button. And we'll get some other questions. I like that you mentioned hybrid posts, lead with information, help affiliate suggestions, all in the same article. Bingo, that is the tip. Uh, what's the best AI tool for research or gathering? If you're just going to do research, use the free tools. Yeah, there's no sense paying for stuff if you're just going to do research. Now, I did find that just for research, if that's all you want to do, Surfer SEO was pretty good. I like that. Uh, if you're feeling overwhelmed, join Saturday's call, helpfulaicontent.com. I think you're going to love it. Dave, I stopped listening to anyone else but you at the point. All right, well, I can't listen to my voice that much, but hey, you know, if you can, that's good. So, all right, other questions? Again, helpful AI content. And that's what this is about, is creating helpful, good content with AI. Because there's a lot of trends out there, there's a lot of junk. We got to focus on what actually works what actually is going to put the money in our pocket, what actually is going to help other people and help us, right? Super, super important. All right. All right, guys, oh, yep, we've got more questions. What time is the call Saturday? I think it's going to be at noon. All the questions always come in when I'm ready to hit that, that button. Uh, today was awesome for Saturday. What are we going to be doing and cover? We're going to be covering all things AI. AI content for blogs primarily. And it's going to be in depth. And we're going to talk about which tool I would buy. So on Saturday, you're going to know exactly which one I would get and why. I work as an Amazon delivery guy and I've listened to around 20 hours of your live streams on YouTube while working. I'm starting to understand so much. All right, well, thanks for being a, a listener. 
So buy websites, 10,000 views per day, or it won't work out, affiliation, ClickBank? No, that's not what I said. Yeah, affiliation, ClickBank? Yeah, no. Um, you can buy websites if you want to rank faster, OK? Um, that is helpful. But you could start without buying a website, and you don't need 10,000 views a day. I've made good money without 10,000 views a day. Um, and then ClickBank is not the only way to make money. Actually, it's a pretty small way to make money. There's lots of other ways to make money. Uh, is the webinar interactive, or will we be muted? You could type like this. Um, there will be too many people to unmute them. OK, what's next on the channel? Not sure yet. I think we're going to do one on videos on Saturday or on Friday. Have you tried running your own text generation AI locally? I have not. I feel the web is already clogged with garbage, regurgitated. Won't these AI tools make it worse? It will, which is why we're going to stand out by doing good stuff. Right? Always be ethical. Always follow the rules. Always do good stuff. You don't have to do bad stuff. Doing good stuff actually helps, right? Like, in the long run, it's going to last longer. You're going to get more results. It's going to be good. All right. All right, guys. So I think that concludes us for today. Hopefully, you enjoyed our almost four-hour live stream. Um, yeah. Here's our little commercial, and we'll see you soon. Oh, hi there. Don't worry. Marcus will be right back in just a few minutes. If you want to get a Lamborghini full of cash like me, make sure you pay attention to this important announcement. <laughs> All right, guys, a couple of cool things that you're going to want to pay attention to. Number one, over at HelpfulAIContent.com, I have some really cool stuff that you're going to want to check out. Number one, we have notes from the video webinar you're watching right now. So, once you go to HelpfulAIContent.com, you can click here to download the notes. All you got to do is put your name and email in, and we will send those notes to you right away once they are completed. I actually have a full team standing by making notes of this live stream right now as you're watching it. Number two, and probably the most important part, on Saturday, April 8th, I am going to be having a special webinar about how I use AI tools to make helpful content that actually ranks in the search engines, helps people out, and provides a good user experience so that you can make money. If you're interested in joining that full out training, check out the link right here on helpfulaicontent.com. You can go right here and sign up for that webinar. Full training, you'll get the recordings, the notes, and everything for just a one-time deal of $27. Yep, that's right. We're going to show you everything about AI content, including how to use it for SEO, how to create product, creating AI lead magnets, getting traffic, creating content, and more. So if you want to see me take a deep dive into the SUV site we talked about, you're definitely going to want to be on Saturday's webinar. And last but not least, I have compiled a list of all the links and all the tools that I've been testing in this live stream so that you can check them out. Yes, they are affiliate links, so I'll get paid a little bit if you sign up. So if you appreciate the time and effort we put into these live streams, go on over to HelpfulAIContent.com and check out the cool stuff we have waiting for you. Whoa. That's some cool stuff you got there over at HelpfulAIContent.com. But, Marcus, hey. Marcus, where are you? Come on, hurry up. These people are waiting. Marcus, come on. All right, now back to our show. Ha 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 ha. All right, couple more questions, then we'll get out of here. Uh, we got a couple that came in, and let's see. We got uh, Demir. How to keep the link structure of an expired domain that I bought that already has backlinks. What you're going to do is you're going to follow along with what the link structure was. So I'm going to follow these structures exactly. Uh, we actually have a plugin that does this. It's a plugin that'll that'll take the redirect and, and put it to the new thing. Um, you can get that. We'll give it to you on Saturday's call if you join that. Um, let's see. 
SEO with keyword or content writing, which is the best? Well, uh, content is going to be what is best. Like the keyword is just what you're trying to rank for, but you need to have good content to do it. Uh, can we talk about a few domains I would like to set up? Yes, on Saturday, it will be more interactive. You can talk about your questions and things like that. Um, and, and websites. Here, it's difficult to look at websites because I don't know what's going to come up. Um, on Saturday's webinar, I'll be able to bring up your websites and help you with them. So do you have to, so do you have a website that you put on your post about SUV since that's your focus? So the website is newsuv.org. I bought it at auction. I'm going to put content on it based on what it ranked for. And I'm going to use AI to make that content. My question about using blogs versus videos was not about greed, but speed, the fastest way to help others with good info. Well, videos usually are going to be faster because they're already in front of people. So video would be faster. However, I'd do both. If you're going to make a video, you already have the content. You might as well have a blog to point that video to. Uh, let's see. OK, so you guys need the link. Let me see what the exact link is. This is the exact link, affiliatemarketingdude.com slash AI dude. So that should work. Um, yeah. OK, uh, three hours I've been at work. It's almost four hours now. We're on, uh, what are we on? Three hours and 45 minutes. AI is the best creating around keyword, one keyword. Yes and no. Like, I mean, I'm going to use a phrase. Do we need to sign up, buy the tools for Saturday's event? You do not. We will show you how to do everything for free on the event. I will also talk about paid tools because, I mean, you know, you might as well use them. Can I hire you? Uh, go on Saturday's call. Tell me what you're up to, and I'll tell you if I'm interested in doing it. If I am, we can talk further. Uh, content writing or keyword ranking, which is the best way for reaching Google first page? You need both. Like, the content is for the ranking. Okay, the link is right here. That that should work for you. It should work. Let's see. It's being slow. Okay, um, go to helpfulaicontent.com. It should work. Helpfulaicontent.com. Just type it in. That should work for you, unless it's being slow. Okay, it looks like. Yeah, it might be being slow right now. It could be our internet. Um, but if you need that link, just go to any of our sites, like affiliatemarketingdude.com or whatever, and uh, we can have that for you. But it looks like there's probably a hosting slowdown or something like that. All right, so check it out. We'll get you rocking and rolling. If you guys need anything, um, get us from there, and uh, we'll get you guys rocking and rolling. Let me see if our other thing is working here. Our other site up. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out. All right, so we'll get you from there. It looks like a timeout thing, so try it again in 10 minutes or so, and it should be working. Thanks for being here, guys. Smash that like button, and we'll see you next time.